How are you going to explain to your doctor when they say your cholesterol has spiked? You going to say you drink vinegar? <laughs> he thinks I go to a doctor. <laughs> Look at this man and laugh. Laugh at him. Laugh. He still believes in doctors. <laughs> <laughs> I only go to like uh, tribe approved witch doctors. Thank you. Uh, fuck, where's my save? Um, oh, okay. Okay, right. We were in the school. We had just found out that the nurse of the school is literally a molester who m lesbian molests school kids in the, in the nurse's office. Then, to be able to get to bribe us not to tell people about that, they were going to, uh, the, the nurse wanted to have sex with me. I refused. Now you know, see, this is just a nurse, and see how bad they are. See how bad even just a nurse is fucking molesting people. Doctors have to be worse. That's how science works. I'm trying to find my, if you notice my voice is trailing off, I'm trying to find my fucking gaming notebook. This is an intense game, and you need to keep track of, holy shit. Wow, I took a lot of, oh my god. Oh, these notes are really... I can't read any of them. Second time removing womb. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I remember. All right, let's go in. We got a journal in the game, too, so it's probably... It's probably fun. Are we going to try and get molested in the game? I don't know if you seek out molestation if it's still molestation. Then again, I don't think that argument holds up in court, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, an, that's a statutory rape joke. <laughs> The bell rings as I enter the building. The students filing out of the classrooms are as quiet as ever. Girls their age being, are being murdered, and students from their own classes are vanishing. We saved at the perfect time. This is like a- this sounds like the introduction to the story. Anyone who wasn't here before, congratulations, you're getting a nice intro to the story. <laughs> and yet you'd never know it to look at them. The sound of a slap echoes through the silent hallway. That was a little quiet of a slap. Can I- I need to turn this shit up. Can we get that again? What was that? Oh, well. I crane my neck to see a crowd. Oh, let me. Okay, in case you missed it. I crane my neck to see a crowd gathering near one of the first year classrooms. And at its center is. Suit now, it's fucking loud. So, ah! I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. What did they say? Where's my. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tsukishime Orahime. It looks like she's confronting a first year student. The girl is holding her face and crying. I need to not use my mouse wheel to change the volume or else it fucking skips dialogue. Orihime must have slapped her. Get a hold of yourself! Don't allow some meaningless rumors to lead you astray. Orihime scolds her, a stern expression on her face that I've never seen before. This is what happens to me when somebody says something bad about the Pope. Get a hold of yourself! They're rumors. They're just rumors. You don't even speak Italian, do you? How could you know what he said? I suppose I need to put a stop to this. Come on now, calm down, Tsukushima-san. What happened? I pushed through a crowd to get to Orihime. Tokisaka-sensei. Tokisaka-sensei. <laughs> it's nothing at all. This girl was raising a fuss, so I was merely consoling... Ca counseling. Counseling her. I was, I was merely counseling her. <laughs> Physically counseling. I like how we have two... We are shown two options in this game. The two ways the Japanese school... Uh, school system handles problems. One is counseling via rape, and the other is counseling via violence. <laughs> you know, there's a fun statistic. <laughs> Do you know the one place in the United States where you're most likely to experience violence? And I think it's the second most likely place for you to experience, like, sexual assault? That's right. <laughs> School. <laughs> nice. I suppose this is the Americans are currently occupying Japan in this in this game, so uh, it makes sense that some of our influence would would rub off. Uh, Orihime replies with a clearly forced calm. Doesn't slapping her seem a little extreme? No, no, no. She was she was being hysterical. You know how women are. It was all that we could do. Sean Connery told me that occasionally you need to slap a bitch. <laughs> That's what I heard from Sean Connery. That guy's James Bond. I trust him, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. You're right, I'm, I'm sorry, that was rude of me. However, whatever the circumstances, making a racket is unacceptable. <laughs> no, you don't get it, okay? Yes, I beat my wife, and I will admit 
that yes, it's a little, eh, maybe I shouldn't beat my wife, fine. But you know what's really unacceptable? Nagging me all the time. That's unacceptable. So who's the, who's the villain here? <laughs> the perpetrator of the violence? Or this bitch that won't shut up? After admonishing the girl, Orihime passes by my side. Tsukushima-san. Nandeshouka. Several steps in front of me, she turns around. This rumor of yours. There is no such thing. She cuts me off, turns on her heel, and leaves. Just a rumor. Really? Hondoni? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna lapse back into fucking laughing at Japanese again. This happens to me every single time now. I've been reading, I just started reading some like old Japanese stories in Japanese. It's it's in my fucking mind. It's also really weird because I have to read read the same lines over and over so many times that I'm starting to to memorize the stories. Do you know how uh, Akutagata, Akutagawa Ryun- Oh no, wait, no. You know what's how Sosemi's uh, first dream short story starts? I do. It starts Kona- Kono- uh, Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> Kona- Kona yume o mita. Which is uh, a quote from Martin Luther King. It means, I had a dream. <laughs> when I entered the faculty- Which is just a thing I need to know. When I enter the faculty room, Vice Principal Saeki is sitting by the stove reading the newspaper. Oil. What did we learn last stream? Do you mean the mystery or our weekly Japanese learning? Uh, if you mean the mystery, uh, we learned that the nurse rapes school children. If you mean Japanese, I think it was something about rape, and that's not a joke. I think that was actually... Oh, Tokisaka-sensei. He puts it down in the paper and stands. I apologize for my lateness. Don't mention it. You've been busy, correct? Yeah, I've got something to talk to you about regarding that. I'll be devoting more time to the investigation from now on, so... The days I'll be available to teach will decrease. I don't think we've told this guy that another woman... Wasn't there a third murder and they were definitely somebody from the school? I believe that was the case. Let me check my notes. My, my other notes. Uh, Takigawa Yumi went missing on March 8th. Student. Eh? What kind of student? Student in this school? I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. Uh, let me see. Um, my lover that died in 1950. I used her death as an excuse to quit the police force. Her killer remains at large. Yeah, we went into that also. Former finance. Uh, uh, where? An artist, Catholic guy, right? Who is the other person who died? That's the nurse. Uh, I, I would like to mention that we didn't make a note about like rapes kids. I mean, like, <laughs> in my notebook, there's a note about the nurse rapes kids because I feel like that's a valuable piece of information. But not here. No, powerful powerhouse woman times three. Ah, uh, you're right. That means rape in Japanese. Um. Who else died? Koizumi K. Student discovered at T Thomas Cemetery. Yeah, I think Koizumi K. Did we know that she. No, we knew she was a student, but she went to a different school. Ugh, it's so hard to keep track of. Ah! Imamura Haruka. We know now that that was the Tanokashira Park student. Pretty, pretty sure. I think we found her head or some shit. So, we know that she... We now know one of the students that was missing is from this school, I think. I don't remember the names of the two girls who were missing. Not important. It's gonna fucking detail it right now. Um, oh, I see. Have you discovered anything? Is this this game's Pokédex? This is my, my fucking murder decks. This is my, my character decks, yeah. It's too much. I think we're going to blow it wide open soon. However, if I were you, I wouldn't hold my breath for good news. I pick up- we're not gonna tell him that a student's dead? I guess he doesn't need to know. I, I Maybe he did it, so he already knows. I pick up his newspaper from the chair. Reporters are speculating that the body found in Shuk Shakuji yesterday is related to the one from Thomas Cemetery. She's from a different school, but the same age. Make the girls Pokemon battle, all 700 plus. 
Dude, I want to go back and do another Nuzlocke. Moemon or otherwise, they don't have to be cute girls. I'm actually working on a video right now about how cute girls doing cute things is literally causing people to be gay. Look forward to that video. Started out as a joke, then I started researching a lot, and it's no longer a joke. <laughs> Should be a good video. <laughs> yeah. Saki doesn't ask anything else. Ah, right. Saki Sensei, do the words black egg mean anything to you? Saki inclines his head at my question. Black egg? No, I have no idea. They don't have to be cute girls. Well, yeah, when you quote it like that, it, it sounds like I'm saying they could be cute boys. But no, I'm not. I feel like you are for sure onto something. Yeah, I mean, has anyone noticed, like, like ma male to females especially? They're all into anime. Now, there are alternate explanations. Everybody's into anime who's online. Those kind of people are usually heavy into internet culture. So, sure, but I have... If you wanna, if you wanna have some interesting reading, okay? I've been doing my research. I've been going really into this topic. If you wanna do your research, you preempt yourself for the video. Uh, actually, don't do this. Actually, what I'm gonna say, don't, don't do this. But there's the LGBT board on 4chan, or if you go to the archive of it on one of those archival sites, search for, search for anime <laughs> and see what you find. <laughs> You'll find these people who are like, hey. I think anime may have legitimately made me gay. And then there'll be some replies that are like, Nah, dude, you were gay already. And may anime somehow revealed that to you. And then the guy will respond again like, Nah, dude, I wasn't gay at all before I started watching anime. <laughs> He's like, no, you don't understand. I had no attraction to men until I started watching anime. He's like, you're, you're wrong. This definitely, this def anime caused me to be gay. And when someone tells me that, you know, I think it's worth investigating. And this is as, as an anime fan. It's worth investigating. I need to know, you know, it's like xenoestrogens. It's like, yeah, you can't avoid all of them, but too much makes you gay. Anime's the same, same way. <laughs> I see. I guess the teachers don't know anything about it. If I want, teachers don't know anything about anything. If I want information on this, it looks like I'll have to go straight to the source. The murderer? The black egg make? Hmm? After I've been in the prep room for a while, a certain noisy person arrives. Are we going to have sex with this, with this kid? You know what I'm saying? This school kid? Because... We've already seen our little sister naked, who is the same age as this one. So, I don't know what... Uh, Oh, Tokisaka Sensei, I just, I'm just scared. Alright, I'm just scared. Oh, Tokisaka Sensei is here. Well, oh, where else would I be? You were late today, weren't you? I have an excuse, I had other things to do. Detective work? Toji, Tojiko's eyes are shining. If it were, do you really think I'd be able to tell you? Ah, uh, so that's how it is. And here I am with this juicy information that I went to great pains to get and bring to you. Oh, what's it about? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell someone who's gonna listen with an attitude like that. This is quite infuriating. <laughs> this is qu this is quite infuriating. <laughs> well, I don't intend to lose my temper over something like this. Suit yourself. There's a certain art to handling people like her. It's called the neg. Wait, 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 are you seriously just gonna walk away from this? It's a big scoop, you know? Sure, dude, this guy's- this guy's based and red pills at- red pilled, as they say. I've read of a guy that is only attracted to males in anime or online. Otherwise, he despises their smell and presence. He's... I don't want to know what situation he's going around smelling men. You know? Hey, dude, I think I might be gay, but I'd like to check. Do you mind if I smell you? Gross, dude. If you shower today, you smell gross. I guess I'm only gay for anime. <laughs> If I was actually gay, I would love that smell. Her desire to talk got the better of her. Fine, fine, I'll hear you out. Start talking. Wow, you say that in a way that kind of pisses me off. Well... Oh, oh, oh. Well, whatever. You know the case with the dismembered body in Inokashira Park, right? The one where they still haven't identified the victim or killer? Yeah, I, I know it. <laughs> it's my case. I haven't talked to Suzuriko about the particulars of the case. 
me take a little sip real quick. Oh! Wow. When you're not ready, <laughs> that shit's wild. Ugh. I'll have to feign indifference. A first year girl. Ooh, music stopped. A first year girl told me that right after it happened, she saw the Black Madonna in the park. By the way, uh, tell me if the volume's good. I'm kind of free balling here. Oh, you like that? Well, I guess that's because I'm the one who told you about this from the beginning. Tojiko looks triumphant. She got me good. Well, in the end, it wasn't really the Black Madonna, just a kid playing around with a black sheet. Okay, well, that's not a lead. Wait a minute, Tojiko. My name isn't Tojiko! Whatever you say. Uh, so that first year student mistook some kid for the Black Madonna. Free balling on stream, this guy's a regular Jeffrey Tubin. Is that that guy who jacked off on Zoom? <laughs> This will be the finer, final do, down, doom. I'm, I can't fucking talk, dude. This will be the final downfall of boomers. Public masturbation. It seems that way. Well, the long and short of it is that she knew the rumor. Like, dude, zoomers know at least to put a fucking piece of tape over the camera, right? You might catch a zoomer, you might hear him masturbate, but you'll never see him masturbate, right? They know better. They hopefully know better not to do it at all, but that's a, that's another topic. It's not just her either. A bunch of first years that knew about it are pretty spooked. I wonder if the commotion in the hallway I saw earlier was about this. Are there a lot of them? There's only a few, but they're not just from here. It sounds like a lot of people elsewhere know about it too. The silent generation had the right idea. Start world wars rather than jack off. I mean, here's the thing. Starting world wars, that isn't necessarily bad, right? Like, maybe you got a really good reason and, and God gets it. Masturbation, though, there's no good reason. There's no good reason. It's bad. It's inherently evil. War is not inherently evil. There can be a just war. There cannot be a just masturbation. It's impossible. Hey, Suzuriko. I told you not to call me. Huh? Did the two girls who went missing know about that rumor? Uh, yeah, probably. I'm sure they knew. Starting World Wars is very degenerate. Well, you shouldn't do it. I'm just saying, I agree, you, should, you shouldn't you should start World Wars. But is it as bad as masturbation? I bet, I bet the silent generation probably did jack off all the time, and that's why we got the World Wars. Think about that. Oh, I see. In other words, this means that around the beginning of the year, before Nishizono Yui even had disappeared, this rumor was already circulating. What is it based on? Did that help a little bit? Yeah, it gave me some food for thought, Tochiko. What do I keep telling you? Yeoman claims live that world wars are good. And no. Yeoman live streams from the front. World War Three, China versus USA. Dude, no, I'm gonna be in the I'm gonna be in the fucking wilderness by that time. No way. You ain't drafting me. Try. Once Tojiko is gone, I decide to head for the infirmary and meet with Akazaki Nene. Even though it's not yet time for the afternoon lectures to start, the hallways are quiet as ever. As I prepare to descend the stairs, I'm getting a message from uh from work. Where what is it this time? It's a weird smell in one of the vans. Cool. Weird, weird smell. Yeah. As I prepare to descend the stairs to the first floor, I notice Orihime on the landing. Is something wrong? Orihime comes up the stairs, stopping in front of me. Oh no. Front lines will be in the Western American wilderness. No escape, human. <laughs> human. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong. You know what I found out today? Here's a quick lesson on Japanese racial slurs. Uh, I found out that there's a derogatory term in Japanese. So the word for China in Jap in in Japan is uh, Chugoku, which means uh, central country, right? Middle country. Um, but Chugoku could also mean, if you write it differently, bug country. Uh, so if you want. <laughs> If you want to make fun, so if the Japanese want to make fun of the Chinese, they call China bug country. It's pronounced the exact same way, it's just written differently. So, uh, you know, that's your fun fact for today. Something's wrong with her. I can't sense the dignified air she normally gives off. 
Uh, Sensei. Sensei. What is it? I ask her gently, judging by her expression. Also, the word bitch in Japanese does not mean bitch, but rather means slut. They say beachy, beachy. You're a fucking beachy. Judging by her, but it doesn't mean bitch. It means slut. Now you know when somebody calls somebody else a bitchy in, in Japanese. They don't mean bitch. Judging by your expression, whatever it is, it's serious. There's no reason for me to drag it out against her will, so all I can do is wait for her to speak. Uh, she looks like she's scared of something. Could it be that rumor? Chongro is the worst Japanese slur for Chinese. I mean, let's not get too into this. Although, have you seen that video of that Japanese woman with a megaphone saying, Go home, smelly Koreans? <laughs> Japan's a wild place. Could it be that rumor? Tsukushime-san. <laughs> she shudders when I speak her name. <laughs> it's nothing. Uh, excuse me. Her face downcast, Orihime pushes past me. Tsukushime-san, if you feel like talking, come to my prep room. I'll try to help you out as best I can. I wonder if my voice reached her. I watch her back as she departs. <laughs> yeah, her back. Sure, you fucking Are pedo. Oh, if it isn't Tokisaka-sensei. Toko is the first person I see upon entering the infirmary. Were you sleeping again? Or was the nurse molesting you? I note her half-closed eyelids. I had a good night's sleep and everything, but yeah. After she says that, Toko brings her hand up to her mouth and stifles a yawn. Oh. Whew! <laughs> Is that the best way to describe the sound of a yawn? The, uh, I wouldn't describe uh, as a woo, <laughs> woo. Still sleepy. Guess I'll nap a little while longer. Is it really okay to sleep that much? Ah, uh, it's actually a sign of serious depression. Um, but I'm sure she's fine. I suppose you have a point. Apparently, changing her mind, she raises her head and rubs her temples. Ah, oh, right. Are we going to the art museum tomorrow? You didn't forget, did you? I forgot. Yep, a Mamiya What's-His-Face's exhibition. Uh, so you really don't remember. Mamiya Shinzo. Toko laughs, correcting me. You've got no memory for things that don't interest you, Mr. Detective. Well, it's not like I forgot intentionally. But it's true that my interest level is low. <laughs> I believe that in order to make a hobby out of appreciating works of art, you need to have a certain amount of composure. I don't have that, or even a sense of admiration for the paintings. <laughs> what a philistine. Ah, oh, the rapist enters. The door to the infirmary opens and Nene enters. I'd like to point something out. I don't think I, uh, divulged... I don't think I divulged this information last time we streamed this, but... I was looking for... When I was making the thumbnail for when putting this video... The, the video of the, the VODs of this up on, uh, YouTube. I was looking for, uh, pictures of these characters. Later I figured out I could just get them from the game itself because I'm an elite hacker. But I was looking for pictures, and I found a Japanese poll where they asked gamers how, uh, who their favorite character in this game was. And, like, the number one pick was this rapist nurse. Why? Why? Like, she's literally, this is not me being, like, hyperbolic. It's, like, literally, she's a statutory rapist. I mean, maybe because of the laws around, maybe it's not technically statutory because maybe in Japan they'd be old enough, but at the very least she's abusing her power to fuck teenage girls, right? Like, that's not, and that's your favorite character. <laughs> I guess it's a goal, right? This is their hero. This is what they want out of their life. Man, I wish I had huge tits and could fuck teenage girls. If only. Oh, if it isn't Tokisaka-sensei, what's the matter? I came here because I had something I wanted to ask you. Me? She glances at Toko out of the corner of her eye. I can see on the third wheel here. Well, Tokisaka-sensei, I'll be counting on you tomorrow. Ada. Did she say Ada again? <laughs> Ada, Ada. Toko lightly pats me on the shoulder on her way to the door. She did! She said it again! <laughs> Ada. <laughs> well, well, she's quite frank today. It's like, instead of well, well, you could have just as easily translated that as milf, milf. Is she always coming here to rest? She's been coming over here a lot recently. Seems that she comes and takes light naps here during break. I guess she's got something wrong with her body. 
Wow. Could be. You're the school nurse. You don't know her medical status? Oh, shit. Oh, I got another message from work. Let me see this. Uh, van, van is done. Okay, Carlos. The van is done at the shop. Thanks, Carlos. You're the school nurse. You don't know her met. I'm still supposed to be working right now, so that was necessary. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. There are a lot of things going on when you're that age. Like rape. <laughs> but that's my fault. For a second, her expression turns apologetic. You should- it fucking should be apologetic! So what was it you wanted to ask me? Right. It's along the lines of what you just said. Regarding Nishizono Yui and Imamura Haruka, I'd like you to show me their medical records. Uh, that's... Even if you're on the case, it's not something I can just show to a man. She tried to bribe me with sex and now she's getting all fucking flustered. I can't show you their medical records. You'll know how tall they were. And you'll know that they had the flu last year. <laughs> the information... Maybe... Oh, uh, there's that abortion aspect to the case, though. Maybe we'll know that they got um, illegal abortions. Or legal? I don't know how Japanese... I don't know how the Japanese work. But uh, maybe that's what she's referring to. We do have that possibility that they may have gotten abortions. The information in there is critical. Please, there's just one thing I need to check. What would that be? If they got pregnant and if they had abortions. Got it, called it, got it. I'm a detective. I have a feeling that this information is key to the cracking of the case. Ah, cracking like an egg, get it? That is the single hardest answer for me to give. That's a yes or no question, I mean. Even so, it's important. This is kept strictly confidential, you understand? Do you realize how much this place cares about its appearance? In spite of her words, she seems to have given up and pulled some documents from the drawer. Yeah, I mean, it's not a good look, I will admit. It's not a good look when the Catholic school has two students who uh, got pregnant and then aborted the pregnancy. I know that, you know, maybe the Japanese don't understand that that's like kind of anti-Catholic, but it is. <laughs> it's not, oof. Nishizono-san and Imamura-san, well, it's exactly as you suspected. They both became pregnant, and they both terminated the pregnancy. Ouch. Oh! Ooh! Sorry, I took a sip there. What hospital did they go to for their abortion surgery? The Kuchiki, Kuchiki Pathological Research Institute in Nakano. Kuchiki-san's grandfather is the director of that place. Kuchiki Toko? That's her name, right? Kuchiki Toko. Kuchiki Toko. Oh, her grand... Oh. Oh, that's why she's so depressed. Her grandfather runs an abortion mill. Yeah, that's pretty depressing. What? I remember Toko and her uncle Fumio mentioning that her grandfather manages a large hospital in Tokyo. But what? Wait, Tokyo? I thought you said it was somewhere else. I thought you said in... Oh, Nagano Ward. Oh, I, I think that makes sense. I thought Nagano was a different city. Oh, Nakano. Oh, that's different. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a... Yeah, I got it. Well, why is it tied to the academy? The resident obstetrician is Dr. Yamanuochi. As I, as I have her come here for the periodic health examinations as well. Akazaki-sensei, I'm sorry to impose, but could you... Oh, that's fucked up. This, the, like, doctor that comes to check on the girls is also the doc... Like, they just sne stealthily give the kids abortions? That's fucked, dude. Alright. What a... Mm. <laughs> So it really was a pro-life killer. Maybe, but those are, that's kind of a contradiction of terms. I don't think he understands that pro-life also includes living people. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like adult people. Obviously the fetus is alive, but... Come on, yeah. Sure, I don't mind. She's probably at the hospital. Thanks. It's kind of like, like, I get the thinking, like, oh, this is a terrible crime. I should kill you because of it. But if you put it another way, it sounds kind of ridiculous. Like, you could say, like, like, you know, fetuses are people. You're killing people. That's bad. So I'm going to kill you, another person. You see what, I, you see what I'm saying? Like, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I get it. But also, it doesn't, I don't get it, right? Like, I, don't murder. That's bad. After leaving the infirmary, I go to the faculty room and tell Saeki that I'll be leaving to continue my investigation. Also, wouldn't you kill the doctor? 
Like, let's be clear. I mean, like, who's really responsible here? I would, I'd probably start with the doctors. Or, like, politicians. That's something we can all agree on, right? Right, left, religious, non-religious. Like, if we're, the first person to die should be, like, politicians, right? This is a joke. This is a joke. I'm not calling for violence. This is a joke. <laughs> wink. <laughs> that was a joke, too. Please. Please. It's a, I'm joking, wink. <laughs> just, a, just a goof. It's that's a tick. It's uncontrollable. I just say wink every time. I just can't control it. Wink. Oh, Tokizaka Sensei. This is not an admission of guilt nor a call to violence. If this ever lands me in court, let this part of the record be clear. Everything I say is a joke. Wink. Kuzaka <laughs> seated in front of the stove calls out to me. Kusaka sensei is Vice Principal Saiki around. Looks like he just left to go to the bathroom, but I think he'll be back soon. Just like in just in Minecraft, right, Michael? Yeah, in Minecraft. I'm talking about kill him in Minecraft, wink. <laughs> Dude, I love Minecraft, by the way. <laughs> have I ever have I ever told you how much I love Minecraft? Minecraft is one of the greatest games ever made. Dalton made me start playing it again with him on a on a on a uh, modded server. That we, that we were playing on, that we started. It's so good. I built another mosque. I don't know why. A friend of mine who's playing on the server built this big church on a hill. And I was like, yeah, that's cool and all. But I'm going to build a big fucking mosque. <laughs> that's clearly visible from that hill. <laughs> it looks great, though. It looks really good. It looks like he just left to go to the bathroom, but he'll be back soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After saying that, Kusaka takes some medicine from a small white paper bag and pops it into his mouth. Minecraft, but if you die in the game, you die in real life, featuring politicians. You know, I think no one of our generation, right, like, like, the Zoomer generation is getting older. Eventually, some of them are going to be politicians. You should not be allowed to be a politician in the Zoomer age range if you haven't played Minecraft. Because what is a politician in the United States supposed to do? It's supposed to represent the people. If you haven't played Minecraft, you cannot represent me. You cannot represent Zoomers as a whole. If you haven't played Minecraft, I, I find a flaw in that logic. I'll, I'll wait. Got a cold? I've been having these killer headaches recently. I'm not exactly in the top of my form. He fills a cup with hot water from the kettle. When I've got time to spare, I go to the hospital in Nakano. What? I, I got a killer headache. I think I'm going, I'm thinking about going to the abortion mill. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Ooh, jeez. Kusaka grumbles, smiling weakly. Killer? Oh, kill- A killer headache? Ooh, good point. Ooh, ooh, did he use the word killer? Kusaka has a bad voice. No, it's because he had uh, hot water in his mouth. I think that was on purpose. Nakano, you mean the Kuchiki Pathological Research Institute? Oh, so you've heard of it. Right, you talk to Kuchiki-san often, don't you? See, he's got a good voice. Yeah, something like that. I can't say I only learned about it at that hospital a few moments prior. Yeoman has to vote between Hitler and a good Catholic boy. Chooses Hitler because he plays Minecraft in Catholic and the Catholic doesn't play video games. Yeah, right. You're gonna tell me there's a- there's a Zoomer Catholic who doesn't play Minecraft? Dude, the Pope has played Undertale. Come on, dude. No way. I can't say that I only learned about the hospital a few months prior. I actually listened to this Catholic podcast recently that has a one of the two hosts is a priest and they had a whole episode about how important video games are for evangelizing to zoomers and that catholics even if you should avoid certain video games obviously that he he like the priest was saying like no dude cat video games are a work of art and they have lots of christian values in them and they need to be appreciated and understood by catholics and i was like god bless absolutely amen thank you thank you father did the Pope play Minecraft? No, the fucking the fucking game theory guy bought him a copy. <laughs> I don't I don't know if he's played it. <laughs> I can't say that I only learned about the hospital a few moments prior. Tokisaka Sensei, please be careful. Kusaka lowers his voice. The academic chairperson is out on an extended business trip, so for now it's fine. But once that's done, you won't be able to talk to the students much. Every Catholic required to play on the Vatican Minecraft server when. Good, dude. Why did the game theory guy buy Pope Francis, buy Pope Francis Undertale? Your guess is as good as mine, dude. Uh, prob probably, I think it was something like, 
we need to show the Pope that video games are art, so I'm gonna give him the most artful game I know of. I think it was, I think that's what he said was the reason. I don't watch Game Theory, so that's just a <laughs> theory. <laughs> <laughs> the academic, yeah, 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 okay. I see. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Fucking got him, dude. <laughs> One thing after another. With conditions like these, it's no surprise that some students rebel and hide things. Oh, I'm thinking, by the way, I've already mentioned, but I'm working on a video. I wrote the script yesterday. I'm working on a video about anime turning people gay. Right. Um, in the script right now, it's a rough draft. I don't know what's going to stay in the script and what I'm gonna take out but right now the video ends it's an extremely serious heartfelt video and then it's gonna end with uh spoilers by the way don't listen if you don't want to know it's gonna end with <laughs> but that's just a theory a gay theory <laughs> and then the full house theme will start but as long as you're here do you know of a rumor about a black egg Kusaka sensei I best ask everyone I can in the academy a black egg I don't know the details, but I've heard the students using that phrase before. Spoilers over. Oh yeah, spoilers over. Spoilers over. Were those first year students? Why would you spoil the end? <laughs> don't worry, that was a joke. Wink. I, I warned you, dude. I warned you. Um, thank you. Uh, no, I've done nothing to deserve your thanks. Kusaka chuckles. We'll take another sip, dude. Oh, Tokisaka Sensei, what's wrong? Saiki's returned. Vice Principal Saiki, uh, I've got some business to attend to right now, so I'll be taking my leave. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Do you think I should incorporate some of these Japanese uh, mumbling words into my vocabulary? Instead of saying um, I'll just say ara from now on. Uh, I, uh, ara, I don't know, like, ara. I'll take a number five. Uh, ara, uh, without lettuce, ara, number, number six. <laughs> of course, I understand. Be careful. Maybe not that one. <laughs> e to, e, e, uh, ano, extra fries, um, e to. <laughs> well, if you excuse, it's, it's, it's really hard because when I say e to, I feel like I should be speaking Japanese. And then it's, I have to like, there's like a pause. You can probably hear it. Where I'm like, eto, and then my mind's like, no, 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 English, English, switch gears, English. I bow to Saeki and Kusaka and quickly leave the academy. How do you say fries in Japanese? Probably furaizu. <laughs> They're so wacky, dude, I love them. I take the Chuo line to Nakano. After walking for a little while, the large hospital comes into view. Kichiki Pathological Research Institute is inscribed on the gatepost near the entrance. So this is the place. It's a lot bigger than I expected. There's a stream of, nice car. There's a stream of people coming in and out. I may as well join them. Uh, furaido, furaido potato. <laughs> Is that actually how they say it? <laughs> furaido potato. <laughs> Fu furen, furenchi potato. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> French potato? <laughs> furenchi potato. Inside, it's dead silent. Yeah, I'm just over here eating my French potatoes. It's not unusual for a hospital, but I'm... What do they call French potatoes? Like, if they were potatoes from France, would they call them French fries? It's not that unusual for a hospital, but I'm struck by how similar it feels to an academy. To the academy. There's no sign of energy from the people I pass by. It's almost as though I never left the academy at all. Hey, that area is off limits except the staff. Don't talk nonsense, Yomin. There are no such things. They don't have potatoes in France. Then how did they make French fries? Upon hearing- Fucking checkmate, atheist! Upon hearing the voice from behind, I stop. You don't look like a patient. Who are you? I turn to see an elderly man in a lab coat staring at me suspiciously. Oh, I'm sorry. I came here because I had some business with Dr. Yamanuochi. Yamanochiku. Ah. 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 So you're the person from Oba Girls Academy. Yes, that's correct. Looks like the uh, message has gotten around. The problem now is whether this guy knows my true identity. Ident oh. New option. What do you mean? Are you saying this is a possible waifu, or are you saying he may have killed these women? I hope the second. 
Let's not get. Let's not stand around and talk. Come with me. He leads me. You know what? There in anime, there are feminine males. I don't know if you know this. Maybe this is a bit of a bit of a news flash. <laughs> but there are there are girls. Let me say this again. There are boys in anime that look like they they literally are just girls, but they like give them a bulge and change the voice a little bit. And say that they're girls, or say that they're boys. You know what I mean? Like it's it. They're 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 clearly made to look like girls, but they make them boys instead. How come there's no girls that look like this in anime? Hmm. Hmm. I thought we stood for equality in this country. <laughs> why is this not possibly a girl? Why do why don't people look at this man and say, "Oh, trap? What is this a trap? Maybe it's a trap. Haha, <laughs> trap joke." He leads me down the corridor, and we pass through a doorway. I'm just saying it's a very uneven. It's very uneven. I want women to have body dysmorphia just like all of the men of my generation do. It's not fair. Director's office is written on the door plate. Is he the director? That means... Can you imagine the alternative of the... I'm not saying this is necessarily the case, although I'm making a video about how it might be the case. But like, if anime makes you gay, or influences that, you know, there's like the comment, there's like the stereotype of like, the, the feminine man who dresses in women's clothing, and watches cute girls doing cute things anime. Is there an, like, can you imagine the opposite of that? Like a, a really butch, buff girl who watches nothing, like not tomboy, I'm talking like ripped, and she watches nothing but like Fist of the North Star and Jojo and like, <laughs> fucking Baki the Grappler. <laughs> See, but that's why that's why the sexes can never be equal. When a when a when a man tries to become female, that's a trap. When a woman is fucking ripped, that's breeding stock. Excuse me, may I call you Kuchiki san I'm the director of this institution, Kuchiki Yasutada. I've heard about you. You're a detective, correct? Seriously though, I've never understood that either. If you're gonna make everything female except the bulge, just make it a female character. It's the taboo. I mean, that's part of it. Also, it's probably some sort of psyop. I mean, like, let's be honest. It's probably some sort of psyop. That's why I'm trying to do a public service by making a video about you shouldn't be watching too much anime, especially if you're a feminine guy or have like, like insecurities about certain things because it's like an alcoholic or someone who's prone to alcoholism, you know, alcoholism in the family, they shouldn't drink alcohol. It's the same thing, you know what I'm saying? You'll see. I'll make my points. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> what you're investigating is none of my concern. I only ask that you don't disturb my patients. They do it to make you gay. And what? I assume you mean want? To fuck small, nearly feminine penises. See, I don't know what you mean by nearly feminine penises. That implies that there is a possible feminine penis. Which is just... I mean... I don't know what to say to that. What you're investigating is none of my concern. I only ask that you don't disturb my patients. That goes without saying. He hardly needs to tell me that. You had some business with Yamanochi-kun, correct? Wait here a minute. I'll have, I'll have someone show you to her. He leaves the room. I take a quick look around. He could be the killer for sure. A large painting is hung on the wall. Whoa. The description reads, Mamiya Shinzo, artist. Cocticus. Cock. Cock. Kakitis. What is this fucking Latin shit? Kakitis. I can hardly. What does that mean? Kakitis. Kakitis. I don't know, dude. I only read things. I don't say them at the. It's the bottom circle of hell. hell. Oh, we're back to. Oh. We're back to Dante. Right, I forgot last time we read Dante live on stream to get hints about this game. What a great game, dude. How do you pronounce it, though? Uh, it's Greek, also. Uh, literally, Lamentation. I don't know how you pronounce it, though. I still have no idea how you pronounce it. It won't tell me. Well, whatever. I thought we already decided the killer would be one of the girls. Yeah, probably, but... Knock on a random woman's door and ask them, Get an abortion, huh? <laughs> I can hardly forget that name. Oh, I forgot. Wait. 
I gotta make a note for myself. I think on Saturday my my church is praying outside of an abortion clinic. I gotta. I think I'm gonna go. I went once before. It was kind of nice. Uh, I could hardly forget that name after hearing it constantly for the past couple days. Coctus, Yeoman, you can't read. It's cocky cock. Coquit, coquitus, cocositus, cositus. That sounds about right. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's a hard C or a soft C or what. You know. Ah, so it's the kind of stuff he does. I don't know Greek very well. So you have an interest in Mamiya Sensei's paintings? The director had returned. Yeah, kinda. He's an old friend of mine. That painting was a personal gift from him. Weird. 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 I guess he wants to brag a bit. Did you see the gif of the giant fat bird twerking at a pro-life protest? No. I avoid, uh, Doomer Psyops. <laughs> Which is what I can only assume that is. <laughs> the male doctor next to him coughs. Ah, uh, sorry. This is our anesthesiologist, Murase Kun, who also works as the director when I'm not around. Oh, he's the killer! <laughs> All right, boys, we've, uh, we've, case closed. I, I think we can, uh, just stop that there. I think, I think I've discovered. You don't make a character look like this. He certainly hasn't done it. That would be too obvious. I'm Murase Naoki. Pleased to meet you. Fucking Severus Snape over here. <laughs> I'm Tokisaka. Nice meeting you as well. I'll show you to the obstetrician. Dr. Yamanochi's place. Right this way, please. Abortion doctor who kills his patients afterwards. He, that, he has that face, but Honestly, what the hell does the director intend by doing this? As soon as we're out in the hallway, Marase curses softly Showing patient records to non-staff and to a detective of all people is out absolutely outrageous Just to let you know, I've been entrusted with this by the police. My words do nothing to placate him Look, we're here. Finish your business and get the hell out of here. He definitely didn't do it. Depositing me at the entrance to the ob obstetrics ward, Marase turns around and leaves. That could have gone better. He does abortions and then kills the patients for getting an abortion. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, the possible religious motivation really is strange at that point. <laughs> well, there's nothing I... It was already a bit strained, but... Uh, well, there's nothing I can do about that. It's natural for detectives to attract scorn, and since they dig up other people's personal information. Excuse me, is this Dr. Yamanochi's office? No, it's the same office you were just in. Can't, don't you recognize it? Hi. So yes, it, it is. Yeah, she's kind of cute, I guess. Uh, okay, all right. I like the M hair. I like the fucking Majin Buu hair. The woman who emerges gives me a doubtful look. My name is Tokisaka. I've come here from Oba Girls Academy. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, Gakuse. You're the one who said he wanted to discuss some students. I'm Yamanochi Kohara. I'm Koharu. I'm the resident obstetrician here. He's not religious. He's actually a s Santanist. A Santanist. <laughs> he worships Santana. <laughs> Good prediction. I, I like that one. He just hates degenerates, so first he kills their children and then them. What? To, well, uh, he worships Santa. Oh, oh. A, sa a Santaist. Koharu bows deeply. I know this is sudden, but I'd like to get straight to the point. Is it true that this is where Nishizona Yui and Imamura Haruka had their abortions? Uh, ah. Yes, that's correct. Their procedures were performed here. She doesn't sound happy about it. Well, who would be happy about an abortion? I mean... There's a... <laughs> get it, dude? Because some people, dude. There's been a lot of them recently. I just got a call from the police regarding their regarding teen pregnancies from the police did they ask about the two myrtled, murdered murdered girls <laughs> koizumi k and takigawa yumi <laughs> how did you know that <laughs> it wasn't that long ago that i asked Izumi to look into it he really moved fast i asked him to do it i had a hunch they'd find something like this i see well i'm certain that those two also had procedures done here however we lost their records in a fire right we lost their records in a fire don't worry i don't think this place is involved with these murders is that so oh, oh no she just didn't want to okay some kind of tension drains out of her well how are we sure this place isn't involved in the murders i mean there are murders here every single day <laughs> are there really that many yeah 
and not just those who are pregnant. What? Oh, oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> Girls who think they might all might be pregnant also coming for consultation. I thought for a second she was gonna say Girls who, who aren't pregnant come here for abortions <laughs> It's just the hip thing to do ah, I see I'm having a hard time reconciling this news with their usual behavior I think the students come to me because I frequently visit the academy for medical examinations. It's kind of fucked up. Did anything else about them worry you? Let's see. They were never very clear about it, but it sounded like the pregnancies could have been the result of prostitution or even rape. Jeez. 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 Prostitution, you say? I like how that's what he focuses on. I see where his uh, interests lie. Their attitude wasn't that of a girl who had sex with her lover. It was the anxiety of a first pregnancy, but rather... Oh, it wasn't the anxiety of a first pregnancy, but rather the fear of carrying some unknown man's child. Well, if it's prostitution, it's basically their fault. If it's rape, then, like... Yeah, I mean, that blows, but... You shouldn't kill someone just because you were raped. Hot take. Koharu's eyebrows droop. She looks on the verge of tears. I mean, who, for all you know, the killer may have been raped, and now he has the same motivation you have. Think about that, dude. That's the feeling I got from those girls. What's the going rate for a teen prostitute these days? I ask merely for information. I'm in it. I'm in I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm a detective. I just need to know. This character doesn't care about rape at all. Like, not even a little. Yeah, literally she says, could have been prostitution or rape. And he's like, prostitution? How appalling! It's like, like what about the rape? <laughs> and then earlier, it's like, he sees the nurse literally raping kids and like, I'm gonna keep this to myself. I think, I think I'm just not gonna say anything about that one. He doesn't care about rape. Invis rape is invisible to him. Some people don't see color. <laughs> he doesn't see rape. He's rape blind. All right, thank you. Thanking Koharu, I leave the room. There's an ashtray set in the corner of the hallway, so I light up a cigarette there. Whew. <laughs> Their favorite word in this game. Whew. Can we get a whew counter? The corpse's vagina. Holy sh- Okay, wow. We're just going right in. <laughs> a little warning before we be so vulgar. The corpse's vagina showed no trace of violent sex. Because they're a lesbian. That means the killer didn't rape them. Not necessarily true. You could scissor rape. But something about it still nags at me. No. The possibility of rape is low, but not impossible. On the other hand, it's quite likely that they were involved in a prostitution ring. The same age, the same school. There's a lot of correlations here. You know how it is. That's that age range, that kind of school. Prostitution's rampant. Not, not, that I, not that I would know. <laughs> I, I have no interest in... This guy, I'm saying this guy is suspicious. What if someone's controlling those girls and forcing them into prostitution? Hmm. Hmm. I exit the building, still mu mulling things over in my head. I guess I should contact Uzumi and talk to him. I'll give him a call later and have him come over to Moon World or something. Hmm? A man in front of the hospital suddenly catches my eye. What's this? He's carrying a large bag under his arm and looking about restlessly. Is this, this is just the killer? Is that is it really that easy? Um, highly suspicious behavior. He certainly doesn't look like one of the hospital staff. After he's the organ salesman. Oh right, yeah, this is an abortion hospital. That actually makes sense. They might not have known this in this time period, but yeah, it's a it's a booming trade. After looking around for a little while, the man leaves. What was that all about? That did cut. Actually, you know, it's funny, but that did actually look like one of those little coolers that they keep organs in for transplants. So, maybe. I played RimWorld. I know what they look like. Welcome, Tokisaka-kun. Kyoko, could I use the inner seats? There aren't many customers, but I don't want people listening in on my conversation with Uzumi. Sure, it's fine. Well, we call them inner seats, but they're no different from the others. What do you mean they're no different from the others? Then why would they... What's the point? What are you talking about? Welcome, Tokisaka-san. Hot snake comes over with a glass of water. Thanks. I just had a... You ever have a thought that races through your head so fast? It's like you have an entire dream in a second. I just had a quick scene in my head of Hatsune Miku giving me a glass of water, and I'm just sipping that shit and feeling good. Feeling good, dude. Thanks. Can I get some coffee? Sure. Coming right up. She turns around and heads back to the counter where Kyoko is. Looks like she's become quite familiar with the layout. Feeling thirsty. <laughs> Hey, cheers, dude. Hey, fucking kanpai. Fucking cheers. 
Ooh. Ooh, I think it's I think it's settled at the bottom because that wasn't as strong as I liked. Let me see if I can shake this without spilling it everywhere. Oh, very delicate work here. Let me try another sip. Ah! Eh. Better. Yeah. Better. But not as good. Still not as good, but I feel alive, so. Running around all day wore me out. Oh, welcome, Zumi Kun. Also, he drank something in one gulp. Yeah, he drained his glass. Got it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh means yeah. Uzumi sa saunters in. Over here. Wakata. I know. He replies curtly and sits down across from me. Reiji, so, Reiji, I hear you found the hospital. Is he implying that Catholic schools do prostitution? Not that I know of, but I I was raised by atheists, so I actually don't know what Catholic schools are like. To be clear, I will not be sending... When I eventually have kids, like 20 of them, they will not be going to, uh, to Catholic schools. Absolutely not. Because I don't trust schools, period. They, I will be teaching them everything they need to know. And that doesn't... I, oof, I, I almost made a mistake. I shouldn't say that. Never mind. <laughs> it doesn't include a certain historical event. <laughs> of course, I'm talking about 9-11. Uh, Purely by accident, it appears that some of the students at the academy used it. Are two girls. Yep. We keep things vague so the casual listeners won't be able to understand. Dude, that was all a joke. Wink. That's why I'm winking all the time. Can't you see me winking? It's everything I say is a joke. Wink, wink, wink. We keep things vague so casual listeners won't be able to understand. They also can't understand why I fucking slur my words like that. Did somebody spike my vinegar? How is this place? Is it trustworthy? I still don't know. I've only got to look around for a little bit. I only got to look around for a little bit. See, I can't even read. What is this wrong with me? I see. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> How fucking retarded do I look if I go around in real life saying, Ano, Eto. But you did say in a previous stream that nothing is more human than 9 11. I say lots of things. I say lots of things. They're all true. I brought some coffee. Hatsune looks around at us, nervously at us. See, I just made up words there. Ah, thanks. Ano also means anus in Spanish. Anus. <laughs> anus. Uh, I think I'll take a... I think I'll take anus number 11, anus number 4. Anus large drink. It's hard, it's hard, because you just try to say um instead. With that, he she bows and takes her leave. The omen wants his children to be inhuman. I want... My children are going to be more human than fucking any, any children. Who is she? They are going to be so fucking vital, and alive, and maybe primitive, maybe monkey men. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe. Uzumi points after her, curious. Dalton's already run into this problem with his kid, uh, because uh, I guess like, you know, the average person nowadays, um, basically Dalton's kid is like growing like way faster than the average, and is like progressing through the stages of infancy faster than the average. And it's like, well, yeah, of course he is. The average kid isn't breastfed, is, like, abandoned from a young age. Like, the mother isn't around. It's like, Dalton didn't do any of that shit. So, of course his kid's coming out better. My kid's just gonna have the advantage of youth. <laughs> they'll be even younger, so they'll have... They'll have my... My kids will all be youthfully vital. But also won't be fucking abandoned from a young age, like the average, so... And my kids will be fasting, drinking vinegar, living in the woods... <laughs> Playing video games? I think you've seen her before. She's a product of Takashiro's handiwork. Ah, oh, no wonder. So it was what I was when I was thinking. When I was working. Uh, Uzumi spoons sugar into his coffee, then fixes his gaze on me. So he recognizes the... Yeah, the girl. So, about the case. I looked into the victim's families and learned a lot of stuff. And how'd it turn out? First off, Koizumi K. Great name, by the way. Koizumi K is like, it sounds like a, uh, like an idol name. Great name. Her father founded some kind of fake new religion, as opposed to the real new religions. Oizumi, what are you fucking talking? Yeah, he, he, he founded some fake one, unlike Om Shinriku, of which I am a proud member. Like, what you, okay. And embezzled donations from his followers. Seems that his behavior was pretty extreme. Again, as opposed to the other new religions that pop up, which are usually pretty mild. Uzumi reads off the facts, flipping through his notebook. 
Next up is Takigawa Yumi's mother. Seems like she was doing fortune telling in Shinjuku under the name Takinomiya. She had complaints filed against her by victims for selling vases. In the Wait a second. Um, what were the what were the uh, what did we discover about the uh, the the book, dude? The the Dante, the Divine Comedy. What was the? Uh, let me see here. Do I have it in my notes somewhere? I didn't write it down. Um, come on. Ah, a strange new pain. I must now make my verse. Dante's Inferno matches Nishizono Yui's handwriting, but what was the connection? Fortune telling was in there. That's what I thought. Yeah, the people with their heads on backwards. Right, that was fortune telling. Was there anything that had to do Koizumi K? Koizumi K was the left arm was cut off and a foot was lit on fire. Did that have anything to do with fake new religion? Oh, I think it had to do with embezzling, maybe. That's simony. Ah! Or simony. I said it wrong again. That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. This all adds up. So there... Ah! Right. This is this was our theory. Because we were... Because the guy came to the conclusions that these were, these crimes were related to the... Uh, to Dante's Inferno. But he was saying... But like the main character said, maybe it's not actually the kids who committed those crimes that the murderer was avenging maybe it was their family and i was like that's a i said that's a very japanese thing <laughs> punishing someone for their family you've you've your family is dishonorable i will murder you um but that seems to be the case uh because it was the mother and the yeah father of koizumi k the mother of takigawa yumi so yeah they're they're taking it out on those families by killing their their daughters Interesting, which means it probably isn't an anti-abortion killing. But then is it just coincidence that all of the girls had abortions? Do that many of these of the girls at this Catholic school have abortions? That it would just happen randomly? Probably not, right? I'd like to imagine that it's rare. Uh, <laughs> This could be a particularly bad school, and I don't know what happens in Japan, but, you know, I'd like to think it's rare enough that that's not just a coincidence. So, huh, yeah, I don't know about that. Hmm. I flipped through my own notebook, checking for the sins listed in the Divine Comedy. Yes, thank you. Beneath my head are crushed the others who practiced sim si simony before me, now flattened, simony, now flattened into, f I don't remember, now flattened into fissures in the rock. What the hell is that? He doesn't read books. Simony is the building, buying or selling of holy things. It includes embezzling alms. And then the fortune tellers that used magic had their heads turned backwards and had tears running down their back. So what does that have to do with it? You fucking stupid. There are passages from Dante's Divine Comedy. It's possible that the killer is drawing inspiration for the murders from this. It matches the piece of paper stuck in Takigawa Yumi's mouth. I suppose it's possible. Here's another theory. Um, because we need to think. This game is about thinking. So please think, please think, please think. This game, it's possible that this, this murder, maybe the murderer is anti-abortion and is killing these girls because of their abortions, but for some reason, <laughs> that's, that's how you know it's a good theory, for some reason is tying it into Dante's Inferno and all they do is just like, ah, well, I'm killing this girl uh, because she had an abortion. Uh, I wonder if her parents have done anything that I can tie into Dante's Inferno some way. Oh, yep, they did this. I don't know what would happen if he didn't find anything. Um, th that theory doesn't make a lot of sense either, to be honest. Um, it's possible the killer's drawing inspiration. Uh, it matches the piece of paper stuck in Takigawa Yumi's mouth. Also very coincidental. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's... it's hmm. uh, I don't know. Yeoman sets up forests with fiber optics so kids can stream after hunting day is over. Yes, yes, yes. Returning to monkey project leaked. Yes. So you're saying that someone who knows that work is the killer. Well, presumably. The quote is from a translation by Yamakawa Hesabura, published by Imo Iwanami Books in 1952. I think a lot of people have read it. I want, hmm. I never thought about translations into other languages. <laughs> 
So, a person among the suspects who's read that would stand out. Then let me ask you, who should we nominate as suspects? We haven't seen so much of, as a killer's shadow. <clears throat> well, that's what we're searching for at the moment. That's if we can identify a single suspect. Well, it's not like we don't have any options. I told you... Excuse me. I told you this morning that Nishizona Yui had a boyfriend, right? Well, I found out his name. It's Mori Yorutsuki. It appears he's a photographer. A photographer? Can you make a living off of that? Lately, it seems you can. <laughs> Wait until these guys hear about streaming. Although I can't make a living off it. There were guys taking photographs on the battlefront, right? You can make money by taking the good ones to the newspapers. Uzumi lights a cigarette. So, he was witness taking Nishizona Yui's picture on a number of occasions. Could it just be a simple photographer subject relationship? Well, I wonder about that. The word is they had a laid back mood about them, but we won't know until we look into it more. I still haven't found the man himself. I like this guy's fucking sloppy ass detective work. I found the victim's boyfriend. Are you sure that he's her boyfriend? Well, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> well, then maybe you didn't find her boyfriend. <laughs> Having said that, Uzumi takes a small photograph from his notebook. I almost forgot. The magazine. This is why he brought me in on the case. The magazine company he's the correspondent for said he's going to the art museum in Ueno tomorrow for work. Hey, Uzumi. My eyes are fixed on his photo. This guy. I just saw him. Ooh, the photo. Ooh. That's what the box was. Oh! <laughs> it's the man who was loitering in front of the Kuchiki Pathological Research Institute. Why would a photographer be at an abortion clinic? Unless he's trying to convince people not to get abortions. In which case, based, I like him. But otherwise, not based killer. Did you talk to him? No, I saw him from a distance. Why was he there? A coincidence? No, even if it were. We should catch him tomorrow and squeeze him for information. Oh, right. I just happen to be going to Ueno tomorrow. T Takashiro's place. Nope, to the art museum in question, leading around some students. I'm surprised you got the free time to do that. Well, it's not strictly pleasure, it also involves another case I'm working on. Think of a black-haired girl who talks like a boy, using her as an excuse for Uzumi. I forgot that she talks like a boy. Mm. Put a car battery to him, that'll get us the information. I know how to make people talk. Thanks for the coffee, you ask nicely. I open the door and step outside. Whoa! Whoops. Sorry about that. I barely sidestepped in time to avoid a collision. Um, Kuchiki-san, wasn't it? D Dama. Ah, Toko's mom. Uh, yes, hello. It's Kuchiki Chizuro. Chizuru. I have to apologize for visiting your home out of the blue the other day. Uh, not at all. It was my pleasure. Chizuru bows. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry to get to Nakano. Ah, uh, and I won't keep you. Going to your father's hospital? Uh, which abortion is this? Seven? Eight? I'll see. I'm surprised you had a kid at all. After a few halting blows, she walks in the direction of the station. Dude, the music. Just turn that up a little bit. The sun is sunken quite low in the western sky. Well, now, there's work to be done. Ooh, decision time. All right, let me save. Let's slip over to page two. Got it. All right. Where do we think we need to investigate to get this case fucking cracked wide open? Again, I remind you all that this does matter. Let's take a look at our options. They do change every once in a while. We got the Academy. All the victims are from the Academy. It makes sense to look around there, but honestly, we're probably just gonna run into one of the students there. Probably our sister. Maybe that's valuable? I don't know. Moon World, it's just fucking drinking our sorrows away. It doesn't help. Um, Inukashira Park, that's where we probably run into Toko. Eh, I guess if we wanna, if we wanna fuck Toko, that does seem to be a possible route of this game, but, um, that's a high schooler. Uh, Takoshiro Hospital, uh, that's the girl who, I don't know what exactly she did for me, because luckily it was censored, but I did see the word urethra, and also anus, and also sploosh. So, like, I... I don't really want to go back there ever. I'm kind of scarred for life. Uh, Shinjuku Station, no reason to go there, as always. 
And uh, the art museum, I guess we could try and preempt the art museum trip tomorrow, but th the thing is, like, it's not gonna, why? They're not gonna reveal some like important information the day before you go there. You know what I mean? Like, it's probably not gonna, I mean, maybe it's worthwhile though. Why did she do that again? Yeah, she raped us. She's just thirsty. Uh, she's just rapey. She just, yeah. She literally just like forced us into it more or less. We didn't really want to do it, but we're a man. So once you have, you know, like, like there's a certain point of no return. Men don't have to be forced to be raped. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's forced, but then it becomes not forced, but it's still rape. It's like in, it's like in those fucking comics you should stop reading comics. Do you like how I said comics? I just want to make you mad. Uh, they, you know, like, fucked until they like it. It's that kind of thing. But it's much easier with, with men. What am I saying? <laughs> Let's go to the art museum. <laughs> I've come all the way to Ueno. I remember that the museum would be closed today, but... Huh? Ste oh, Stella's sitting in a chair by the museum entrance. Looks like she's sleeping, as usual. Hey, Stella. I call out as I draw near, but she doesn't even spare me a glance. She's staring fixedly at the ground. Huh? Zzz. That was a snore. She, so she's sleeping with her eyes open. I guess she's on the job right now, but there's no reason to wake her. At that moment, Stella gives a little jolt. She looks up at me, blinking. Were you asleep? I wasn't. She shakes her head. No, she was sleeping quite soundly, but no matter. Wait, is that supposed to be clever? Is this supposed to be clever? She said that she said ne tenai instead of nemu tenai? This is where my Japanese knowledge comes in handy. She, there's two words for sleep in Japanese. One that means sleeping lying down, and one that means sleeping not necessarily lying down. She just said, I'm pretty sure I caught what she said correctly. And she said, no, I wasn't lying down and sleeping, which means she's not lying because she wasn't lying down. She was sleeping, well, not lying down. I don't think that matters, but I don't know. Maybe that might crack the case. You gotta pay attention to these things. Still, son. What do you think of when you hear the words black egg? And please, don't say onsen eggs. Eggs. A symbol of birth. It is said that they represent the resurrection of Christ. Suddenly, she drops into quite fluent Japanese. Christ was crucified and buried in a tomb hewn out of rock. On the morning of the third day, he was resurrected. Yo, she is Catholic. Yeoman language master, back at it again. I try, dude, I try. I really, when I say I'm gonna do something, I wanna, like, follow through, so. I said I was gonna learn Japanese. What a mistake. What a terrible fucking mistake that my childish self made years ago. But it's, I, I said I was gonna do it. His resurrection was from a tomb of rock. Could be based upon the birth from a shell of an egg. That is quite a leap, however. Having said her piece, she stops as if tired. Well, she does look like a Christian, so having that much knowledge isn't surprising, but she looks like a Christian. Anybody wondering? This is actually valuable information. The Japanese knowledge literally will never come in handy in your entire life. This, on the other hand, you're out there trying to find your fucking trad wife. Uh, this is what a Christian looks like. <laughs> Good, I didn't know. I wasn't sure. I don't wear shit like this. Maybe I should. The resurrection of Christ is not just concerned with eggs, though. Chicks and rabbits also appear during Easter. During cold winters, rabbits dig a hole underground to hibernate in. During springtime, they will emerge. This is also referred to as a rebirth. Hmm. I like how everyone, like... Everyone just assumes that, like, the Easter shit, like, with the, the rabbits and the eggs and everything, is just fucking stupid and has no relation to Christianity. And here's this Japanese woman in, an, in a VN telling you, spitting hot facts. Let me get a sip, dude. I need a sip. Ah. Oh, and I need some water, too. Ah, mix it. Mmm. Like a puppet whose strings have been cut, Stella settles back in her chair, giving a little yawn. Uh, um, Stella-san? She's asleep again. Hearing so many intriguing things just gave me more questions to ask, but... Just don't catch a cold, alright? Looks like I'll have to go elsewhere. Another choice? Okay, alright. Now, uh... Fuck. I don't know, dude. Uh, so... Toko. 
Is there anything else the hospital could take me? I don't know if it's worth the rape chance, but if there's anything else I could possibly say about the case... Uh, I think I might go to the academy, I guess? Because they said we're not going to be able to talk to the students soon. So I need to get to, I need to get all my chances as quick, as much as I can before I can't talk to them anymore. That kind of makes sense, I guess. So this, yeah. I've returned to Oba Go Go Goyle's Academy. It happens every time. I don't know why I say that every time. There's nobody around. And it's completely deserted. It's always quiet here, but the difference right now is almost palpable. I hope one of the endings is that Stella converts the MC to Catholicism. I would not stop until we got that ending. The utter silence and emptiness gives a profound sense of loneliness. Oh, Tokisaka-sensei. Did you forget something? Kusaka walks over to me from the school building. Evening, Kusaka-sensei. Why isn't anybody around? Oh, you didn't know? There aren't any lectures tomorrow, so we're closing up early today. No lectures. Right, I did hear something about that. The new term will start soon, so things are getting pretty busy. Are going to get pretty busy. Ah, I see. I want to solve this case before April, but... There's not much I can do here with nobody around. Guess I'll go somewhere else. Oh. I've arrived at Takeda- Well, I guess I'm going to the hospital! <laughs> the BTB has an allure that it's like a fucking Venus flytrap, but with boobs. Now is Natsume-san in. Fake choice? I don't think so, but... Oh, Tokisaka-san! Was she the one here this morning? She's here in the autopsy eating some udon. I'm amazed you can eat in a place like this. I made some sukiyaki. You hungry? Uh, no, I'll pass. Besides... I know. The fingerprints, right? Oh, well, it's a good thing I went to the school, which forced me to go here. <laughs> Natsume-san, that is lucky. Sets down her chopsticks and picks up some documents. Let's start off with the letter you brought over. There were fingerprints belonging to three people on them. One set was yours, Tokisaka-san. The other two belonged to the girls. <laughs> Sato Ayuma, who possessed the letter, and Nishizone Yui, who sent the letter. Right. I can't figure out the names from fingerprints, but that's probably the case. Okay, so let me let me write. So there's a, so the uh, the the Shuku fucking whatever Shukukuji Shukijuji Park case was uh, Takigawa Yumi. There was a note found in her mouth, and apparently the note was written by. Uh, let me just, I just need to keep track of all this. Written by Sato... No. What? Sato Uyumi. No, I thought it was... Huh? Who's Sato Uyumi? Oh my fucking... What? Who is... Who is that? Um, let me see. Okay. Uh, corpse... Uh... Discovered inside the corpse's mouth. It matches Nishizona Yui's handwriting. So wait, the Shakuji... Corpse wasn't Takigawa Yumi? I thought it was. Oh my fucking. Uh, Takigawa Yumi. Your corpse is discovered at Shakuguji Park. Yeah, yeah. So who the fuck? Sato Oyumu. Sato? Who's Sato? Who's Sato? Sato Oyumu. Sato Oyumu. Oh! Oh. <laughs> The friend. Right, the friend. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. Alright. Life is like a staircase, so all choices are fake. Yeah, that makes sense. I did learn that lesson. Furthermore, one of the fingerprints is from the scrap of paper in the corpse's mouth matches one of the prints from the letter. Oh, right, the scrap of paper is different from the letter. But okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I got mixed up. That was me. Is that Nishizona Yui's fingerprint? At this stage, I'm not sure who's. Still, they're a perfect match for the fingerprints from the first dismembered corpse, so that should speak for itself. Huh? Whoa, hold on a sec. That means the mutilated corpse belongs to Nishizona Yui? Wait. The Tara Park one? Or the Inokashira Park? I mean, I'm going to sleep. Alright, night. <laughs> sleep tight. It's looking more likely. Natsume-san lets out a sigh. So... Um... Sato... Sato... No, not Sato. Sato's not dead. Sato's not dead. Who the fuck? 
Who is it that might be dead? Nishizono Yui, Sato's friend. Right, so Nishizono Yui. So... Yeah, okay, so... The, yeah. So the, so the, so Thomas Cemetery is Koizumi K. Ta Tanakashira Park was probably two different victims with mixed up body parts who were probably Haruka Imamura and Nishizona Yui. Probably. We know not for sure about that first name. Keep trying to keep track of these names. I, I fucking dare you. And then the Shikuji Park was Takigama, Takigawa Yumi. Sure, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Uh huh. Got it. It's a very high possibility that parts come from two different bodies. You think I'm not way fucking ahead of you? You think I don't know that? What kind of detective do you think I am? I'm way ahead of you. So that means the head and arms are from different people. <laughs> we Are we at the same pace here? Come on. That's right. It would make more sense. From what I can see, yes. I don't know what the other guys will conclude. The guys at the police headquarters aren't idiots. They probably caught on to that line of reasoning. But this development tells me the whereabouts of the missing Nishizona Yui. This concludes Vice Principal Saki's job for me. <laughs> oh, ouch. Hey, so uh, there are two missing girls. Can you find them? Like a week later. Oh yeah, they're, they're both dead. <laughs> Oops. There's still more to deal with. Looks like my work's not finished until I found the murderer behind this string of kill- we, uh, Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Duh. That's kind of the whole point. I get out of the bath and return to my own room for a smoke. Dinner was Mizutaki. Mizutaki? What is Mizutaki? I need to know. I need to know these things. You need to know these things. So you can go to Japan and, and ask for Mizutaki if it's good. Mizutaki is Japanese chicken hot pot. Ooh. It's pre prepared communally at the table. Because it's a hot pot. Yeah, that's what hot pots are. Yes, that's correct, Google. Thank you thank you for describing what a hot pot is. Hmm. Chicken and assorted vegetable in a dashi broth. That sounds good. Dinner was Mizutaki. Yukari prepared it for me, but she seemed listless somehow. I suppose she must be tired as well. I've been putting her through a lot of trouble. Guess I should at least wash the dishes every once in a while. My mind made up, I stand, but then Yukari opens the screen and enters. Ah, Yukari, good timing. Today I'll do the dishes. Nisa. Nisa. Yukari's voice cuts me off. What, you already finished him? That's not it, Nisa. Her serious tone hangs heavily in the air. I hope this isn't like a uh, incest thing. Because, I mean, like, it, I know that sounds like, Michael, what the fuck are you talking about? It's already been established a little bit. A little bit. She's also retarded. What's up? Aren't you tired? Don't be silly. What kind of detective gets exhausted by a little legwork? The truth is I'm not really tired physically. I am, however, tired mentally. The present situation has constantly been weighing on me, since we have no idea what the killer's intentions are. It's always an incest thing. You gotta hand it to the Japanese. At least they're consistent. I, I've mentioned this once before, but... The oldest Japanese novel in existence, some people say it's the oldest novel in existence, period, but it's not, that's a lie, The Golden Ass is the oldest, but, that we know of, anyway. But, The Tale of Genji, Genji Monogatari, the oldest Japanese novel that exists, it involves a guy, like, fucking his stepmom, and then, like, grooming his daughter or some shit. I haven't read it, but, uh, sounds cla it sounds like classic anime shit, right? Next victim could surface at any time. I'm thinking of- I'm closing in on a motive, but... Please don't overstress yourself. Some things never change. <laughs> I know, dude, what the fuck? It's so weird. You don't need to worry. But Nissan, you never show your true feelings on the surface. I wonder if that book I bought has- No, that book's- it's too big. I don't think it has an excerpt from- Actually, now I'm curious. I may have bought, I bought a book with like some classic Japanese stories in them so that I could read it, but I don't know if, now I'm curious if, if part of that is in it, but it's too small to have the whole thing. Uh, no, it's just got Soseki and Akutagawa Runesuke. Dude, I got some fucking Mishima. I'm going to be reading fucking Mishima in the original soon. I won't understand a word of it because I'm not smart enough to read Mishima, but 
I own it now, so I feel good about myself. I'll know, I'll be able to read like a couple words. Like, you know, he and them. <laughs> but Nissan, you never show your true feelings on the surface. I, I don't? It's also the first hentai, maybe. I mean. Maybe it's just my imagination. There's, there was like a fucking uh, flip book attached to it that you'd flip through and it was just like that weird tentacle porn that the Japanese made. They also did that. There are also like, like fucking like 15th century or some shit. I don't know what century it was. I'm just saying a number. But like there's like, like shogun time fucking pornography of like a woman getting raped by an octopus. Like the Japanese really do not change. Dream of the fisherman's wife. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, they, the Japanese just do not change. Except they do, also. They do, but, like, they don't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe it's just my imagination, but I can't bear seeing you like this, Nissan. It breaks my heart. Uh, a little, little risque. Little, uh, little risque, but I guess we... Uh, okay, alright. Yukari, I just wish I could give you strength somehow. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna need some vinegar for this one. You've supported me plenty up until now. I pat Yukari's head. I guess I don't show my true feelings on the outside because of my work. I've always been like that, so I can't change that part of me instantly. Nissan, could you bear with me for just a little bit longer? Yeah, of course. Whew! <laughs> Whew! <laughs> Yukari pulls away. And Nissan, good night. Her tits are nowhere near that large. I don't know what... She's wearing a wonder bra, probably. Those things are mi miraculous. <laughs> yeah, good night. Nissan, don't stay up late. Please go to bed soon. Yukari returns to her own room. I'm surprised, I gotta say. I'm, I'm surprised. Song 5. Monster Magic. <laughs> what would that be? Ma Mamon? <laughs> Ma Monster, or Bakemono, Bakemono no Jumon? Bakemono no Jumon? Something like that? I don't know. Can the one Japanese... The one guy who knows Japanese in chat... How would you say monster magic? Bakemono would be monster, right? Or Mamono? Mamono Jumon? Jumon is spell. Or Mamono Maho? Mamono no Maho? I don't know, dude. Pff, fuck, I don't know. I have to say, I've had better mornings than this. Ak Akumaho. Exists, exists. Ak ah, yeah, because Aku is like, Akuma is like demon or something, right? Devil. Akumaho. Eh? <laughs> eh? Let me, uh, let me see if I, let me put this into my dictionary so I learn this. I need to learn things. I always, my goal in every single stream, no matter what it is, I need to come away from this having learned something. Akuma, ah, uh, Akumaho is not in the dictionary. But Akuma is, it's, uh, it's, it means Satan. Or devil. Or the Buddhist Maha, Mara, Mara. Evil spirits or forces that hinder one's path to enlightenment. Hmm. Hmm. I would, I guess the devil is like, yeah, that makes sense. I got a feeling that I had a horrible dream, but I can't remember what it was about. It's still March, but when I got up, I was, I thought I was going to say, but when I got up, it's April. <laughs> I was drenched in sweat. My dream probably involved people dying. There was the war. Then I became a policeman and encountered murder cases. I saw enough human death to become tired of it, but even then, I never grew used to it. Nissan, are you awake? Please, no tits. Please. Okay, good, thanks. The sliding screen opens and Yukari peeks her face in. Yeah, I'm fine. How about some breakfast? Why don't she want you to stay up late? She has something to do at night? Are you implying that she's the murderer? <laughs> Is this the implication? I suppose it's possible. You can go ahead and... She's too retarded. Unless it's a ploy. Ooh, the long game. You can go ahead and eat first. You're going to the academy before me anyway, right? Oh, Nissan, you don't remember? Today's the day we go to the art museum. Eh? Oh, that was today. You're hopeless. She, she didn't say you're hopeless. She said that can't be helped. The classic Japanese phrase. She cut the gun eye. I'm getting things ready, so please hurry up and get up. That was close. If she hadn't reminded me, I would have gone straight to work. No question about it. Right now, I really need to focus my efforts on the case, not leading around a bunch of schoolgirls. However, a person of interest will show his face at the museum today. Mori Yurutsuki, Yurutsuki, the guy that was together with Nishizona Yui. 
I need to make contact with him carefully without getting Yukari and Toko involved. Well, time to get moving. I'm wondering if we'll meet the artist here, if the artist is still just gonna be a background character for like the rest of the fucking, for just, you know, half of the game, because I'm, I think they might be the killer. Uh, maybe it's too obvious, but uh, is everyone here? I think you could tell at once if you looked. <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> That's a good point though. There's three people. Uh, is everybody here? Uh, yes. <laughs> Mishuhara replies at once, not bothering to hide her bad mood. She's a bitch. Lowering the bar. Just the three of us. I guess he wants to show his teacherly qualities. Toko flashes me an evil grin. Uh, which one? Let's just get going, okay? Oh, I want to see the paintings, dude. I pay the fee for four people and we go inside. Framed paintings are hung everywhere along the walls. Toko? Toko, let's take a look at the ones on this side. Her arm is so jagged. What happened to her arm? Was it always like that? Look at that arm. It looks like somebody tried to like cut it out in Photoshop and they did a bad job. What is what is going on here? How long is her fucking arm? Look at where the sleeve is on this girl who is taller than her. And then look how the sleeve continues down to the bottom of the screen. She's got fucking like like stretch Armstrong arms. I don't even know what that means because I'm a zoomer, but like those are long fucking arms. Okay. The two of them take off together. Where's Yukari? <laughs> Yukari. <laughs> I turn around, but she's not there. Looks like she went to browse without me noticing it. What the hell? Everybody's just gonna do their own thing? There's no sense of unity or order here. Secret tentacle arm. She's the murder. She's the murder. <laughs> I feel someone staring at me. Actually, this situation seems familiar. As I thought, I see a white-skinned girl when I look at the source of my discomfort. Yo, where are those where are those white women at? Hey there, it's Stella, right? Daddy. Who are you? She tilts her head inquiringly. I suppose it's be inspected. I haven't met her that many times. I suppose you don't remember, but I asked you about Mamiya What's-His-Name's exhibition Shinzo. before? Shinzo. Now open. Well, I came here because I knew that, but... Oh, I see. She walks away, apparently losing interest in me. Story of my life. All right, Stella, can you tell me about Mami and Shinzo? 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 Yeah, I'm not very well, very well versed in the field of art. So. I see. Stella nods and walks to the front of the painting. This is a work that Mami and Shinzo painted before the war. The delicate brushwork and bold colors make him highly esteemed, even overseas. They have high standards overseas. Suddenly, she launches into a very fluent explanation of the piece. And over here, we have something he painted after the war, at Hiroshima. For several months, he walked down streets, still scarred by the atomic bomb, and painted this. Hmm. Stella? Yes? Stella looks at me, her manner returning to normal. Uh, you're quite knowledgeable. It's my job, Shigoto. <laughs> she nods slightly, then continues. The theme of Mamiya Shinjo's latest exhibition is rebirth. I thought it was going to be cancer because of the whole walking through Hiroshima right after it happened. Most of the works here exhibit that theme. Religious art, such as the resurrection of Christ, is the focus. Not only do we have works from the art museums in Osaka and Kurashiki, but Mamiya himself has allowed us to display works from his personal collection. Hmm. I want to see them! Hmm? Now that she says it, I can see that every one of these works has either life or death depicting it, depicted in it. Okay, real question. This is gonna sound retarded, but so be it. Are there any paintings that don't depict either life or death? Like any at all? I guess it's still life, but only if it doesn't involve fruit, which like 90% of them do. So like... Like, I mean, life. You fucking paint a landscape photo, and it's like, yeah, it's, it depicts life. You know what I mean? Like, he says it like it's a strange thing. It'd be, it'd be kind of strange if they didn't depict life and death. Dali paintings are very metaphysical. A painting of a machine. That's, yeah, macaroni art. Macaroni's alive. Comparatively speak, because it was made out of wheat, which is life. It's actually, so macaroni art is actually a painting of death. Also, all these paintings are done on paper, which is dead trees. All paintings are death. Think about it. Comparatively speaking, I suppose his newer works feel like they have a greater impact because they were painted after the war. It almost feels like an obsession. This way. 
she grabs my arm and pulls me over. In the innermost part of the exhibition room is a huge painting, and standing before it is Toko. <laughs> it works even in the videos. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> this is... It's difficult to describe in words. It looks as though the girl will hatch from the egg any moment. It's already hatched. What the fuck do you mean? Toko is staring intently at- I cannot believe that worked. I was like- I had my finger on the fucking trigger. Ready to- ready to- to not let you see this scene. But there it is, dude. Perfect. Toko is staring intently at it, transfixed. I find myself comparing Toko's profile to the girl in the painting. It does look pretty fucking similar. I don't know if that's just racism, but... It, they're really similar. It's almost as though... This was painted just before the end of the war, and it's considered Mamiya Shinzo's greatest masterpiece. Kara no shoujo, Kara no shoujo, they did it, that's the name of the game. <laughs> I love it when they do that. That's the game title. Oh, I pressed enter. Stella's voice, something, something. Eh, that's it? Eh? Once our visit is finished, we go outside. That must be important if they cut there. It must be important. This game's actually about an egg painting. Man, I thought it was about lesbian murders. That was a great help, wasn't it, Toko? Huh? Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. What's up? You don't look so well. I guess I'm a bit tired. It's about time we went home, Nissan. You're right. I'm worried about Toko's condition. Earlier, when she was looking at the painting Kara no Shoujo, her expression had glazed over. Could there be more to it than... Masterpiece or not, it's still a painting. The girl shown there might not, may not be identical to Toko. That said, I can hardly dismiss the similarity as a coincidence. Her mother, or perhaps a relative, one of them might have been the model. Well, that kind of makes sense in a way, because, like... The grandpa is a personal friend of Shinzo, so it, it's possible, but it doesn't look like the mom. But the girl couldn't possibly be Toko because she's too old. She would be too old. Unless we're dealing with, like, vampires or some shit. Are there any mystery games slash VNs that don't actually solve the mystery in the end? I hope not. Fuck, I don't want to... <laughs> that would be bad. How would you make a fulfilling game when it doesn't f f fulfill? Huh? I catch sight of someone out of the corner of my eye. Of course, I had some questions to ask him while I was here. Yukari, I'm sorry, but can you go home without me? I don't mind, but... Is it for work? Remember the egg scene at the beginning was about resurrecting her mother, so the painting probably does model her mother. But we've seen her mother. We Like, literally, it does not resemble her mother, so I don't know what you mean by that. Like, we've literally... We've literally seen it before. <laughs> That's right. I forgot this was Full Metal Alchemist. No, the other game was Full Metal Alchemist. I understand. Please be careful. Yukari heads over to join the two Tokos. I turn back to the art museum. When I get inside, there he is. Mori Yurutsuki. Arguing with Stella over something. Photography not allowed. Oh, come on. This is not a big deal. But it's not allowed. I got permission to cover this, though. But photography, not allowed. Okay, break it up, you two. Now's a good time as any to interrupt. If I can get a good rapport going with him, then talking to him later will be easier. Who are you? We just met a minute ago. Your name. I realize I never actually told it to her. I'm Togisaka Reiji, a detective. This is egg lesbian murder mystery with a side of rape and religion. That is, yes. That's just what I ordered. I make sure Mori can hear. He gapes in astonishment. Reiji. Reiji? Yep, I don't mind if you call me that. I keep an eye on him as I continue talking to Stella. If he were sharp, he'd show some kind of reaction when I called myself a detective. Huh? Oh, so you're a detective? <laughs> uh, he's sharp. Huh? That was definitely not a sharp reaction. Is he really not connected to these cases? Or is he just putting on a show? You're Mori Yurutsuki, kun right? <laughs> Why do the Japanese do that, that, like, like, you know, in, in, in America? <laughs> we would go like, oh, 
like like ooh, like a like a shock sound like ah ah would be a good one like ah you know ah I'm I'm frightened <laughs> surprised <laughs> but he says he sounds like he's throwing up eh. <laughs> do you know my name how do you know my name I've been looking for you are you familiar with a girl named Nishizona Yui since we're obstructing the exit to the exhibition room I get straight down to business uh, yeah yeah I know her. Looking astonished, she gives a reply I wasn't expecting. I guess it was around fall of last year. We met her in a park, we talked, asked her to be a subject for some photos. Perhaps you don't know who I'm talking about. What? What do you mean? Doesn't look like he's playing dumb. Right now, she's gone missing. Are you serious? Come to think of it, I haven't seen her since New Year's. I was sure that she had dumped me. Ah, uh, so we've confirmed that it's the boyfriend. That's interesting for me. He doesn't sound like he's lying. Is there anything I can do? For now, you can just answer my questions. Like, why you didn't try to get in contact with your girlfriend if you thought she dumped you? Do you have that low self-esteem? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, I'll do anything. I'll show you all the pictures I've taken up until now. Up until now, do you have any pictures of Nishizono? Yeah, of course. Uh, I'll bring him over later. Alright, and why don't we meet up tonight? There's a cafe called Moon World in front of the Kichijoji station. Alrighty! <laughs> Alrighty, get you later then. Yorotsuki turns around and leaves the exhibition room. So he just gave up on taking the pictures in here? That seems a bit strange. I don't know whether I can trust him. What I do know is that he'll bring me some information. Well, you don't know that. Uh, he might flee town, actually, which he has quite a quite an opportunity to do that now. Stella's staring at me. What? Reiji. Reiji. A detective. Yeah. So. I see. Apparently, finding that to be acceptable, she leaves. I really don't get that girl. <laughs> that girl ain't right. I've arrived at Inokashira Park. I've come here to confirm what Tojiko told me yesterday, but... I don't know why I said it like that, don't ask. I'd look around the area. This photographer se seems too corndog sh short of a picnic. <laughs> Either that or he's a genius murderer and actor. Yeah, he's probably just stupid. There are a bunch of kids playing by the pond's edge. I guess I'll try asking them. Hey, you guys, got a second. What's up, old man? Well, I guess I can't help it if that's what I look like to them. Have you seen a black piece of cloth draped around, dropped somewhere around this area? I've seen it! Really? Yeah, Takachan here put it on and played with it. Where is it now? Takachan said it got blown away in the wind and got stuck up on top of a tree. As he says that, the kid points up to, at the sky with his finger. I follow his line of sight. Indeed, there's something black caught high on a tree. That's way up there. Thanks, kiddo. Now, how am I going to get that? I guess I'll just have to climb it. How many years has it been since I last climbed a tree? Good. Uh, just a little more. My fingertip catches. I've like climbed a tree basically never in my life. I never really thought about that. Because when I was a kid, I was just fucking fat. Also, I live in the desert. There are no trees here. Yeah, that's also it. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do it now. Huh. I guess that's the downside to living in a place with no fucking trees. My fingertip catches on the cloth. I climbed a tree just today. Well, la di da. Good, now to reel it in. Falling from here would be no laughing matter. Sensei! Sensei, what you doing? A familiar voice rises up from below. I look down at the cloth in my grasp, but the branches block my view. With no choice but to throw my cloth o the cloth over my shoulder, I make my way cautiously down the tree. Return to monkey. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Not fucking desert monkey, alright? Phew, let's not do that again. And then there's Tojiko, and there's Tojiko waiting for me at the bottom. Wants to return to Monkey, but never experienced primal feeling of climbing a tree. It's life, dude. Life. What am I gonna say? Life. Tojiko, what are you doing here? Hey, that's my line. Don't call me Tojiko. Forget it. Is this a piece of cloth? <laughs> oh, is it this piece of cloth? Was... Is this a piece of cloth? <laughs> is it this piece of cloth? Is this what the Mad Black Madonna from the rumor was wearing? Don't look at me, I'm not the one who saw her. As she says that, Tojiko takes a closer look at the black cloth. It looks like it could be worn by a person. Look at this part, there's a hole in it. Sure enough, there's a hole in the part that she points out. Get a fucking more 
drink. Whoa! Ooh! That one was fucking potent in a completely different way. I feel like my eye is watering. My one eye. I only have one. I never know if I told you that. I don't think I ever told you that. Sure enough, there's a hole in the part that she points out. Looks as though it could be worn as rain gear. So if this is the Black Madonna, aside from the matter of the black egg, the mutilated corpse that was discovered near here isn't really connected to the other cases. That means... Wait. What? Come again? Um, aside from the matter of the black egg, the mutilated corpse that was discovered here isn't really connected to the other cases. And how do you fucking figure? It was a student, wasn't it? What do you, what do you mean? Cyclops or eye injury? Uh, third option, a lie. That means the mystery is completely solved, right? By her expression, Tojiko is dead serious. No, Tojiko, you don't get it at all, do you? I just wanted to save for the mood. Okay. I part ways with Tojiko and wait for Uzumi in front of the station, planning to hand the cloth over to him. Interesting for my headcanon of what Yeoman looks like. What is your headcanon of what, what I look like? Yeoman is the one-eyed man who lives in the desert across the street from the big gay house. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that you know I live next to the big gay house. <laughs> like your profile pic. Yeah, I look similar enough to the profile pic. I, I guess. Or I will in 50 years. Just when I'm starting to think I'd have better luck at Moon World, Uzumi comes out from the ticket gates. Oh, Yo, you see, what do you say you found? This, a piece of cloth. It might be like the other one. So you think so too? The other one refers to the piece of cloth that was wrapped around the corpse. Can you, the corpse, this game is fucking ridiculous. Can, you can't say the corpse. There are three corpses already. I assume there's probably gonna be more. You cannot refer to any corpse in this game as the corpse. Unless the corpse is right there, all right? I know Japanese is a vague language, but pfft. Can you see if they're the same? Sure, I can get it done, but how's this gonna help? It might not help at all. Oi. <laughs> now wait, just, just calm down. He said oi. You could have just translated that as oi. That makes, that, that translates fine. Oi! Calm down. It's not, it's not a reliable piece of evidence, but at the very least, it might show us that the murders and the rumor are related. Hurry up and give me a suspect. If you don't, then the number of these corpses is going to increase. I know that. We're closing in, but the hard truth is that we haven't found a single piece of evidence that will be a clincher in finding the killer. Uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty bad at this, right? We're not very good at this whole, at this job. The western sky is beginning to take on a tinge of crimson. Now, where should I go from here? We get the choice once again. Where shall we investigate? The Academy, Moon World, Inagashira Park, Shinjuku Station. No longer an option. Interesting. Takashiro Hospital, Art Museum. Art. Art. Why? Wait. I'm supposed to meet this guy at Moon World, aren't I? I should probably go to fucking Moon World. Is it, wasn't that today? He's, that was, that's, we're doing that today, right? Pretty sure, I imagine you have jet black hair with maybe a little bit of gray on the sideburns. The hair is slicked back. I know you have a ponytail. You have a bit of black stubble on your relatively strong chin and are dark like a tanned Italian, but obviously European. This is a very, very, um, very detailed description. Uh, not wholly inaccurate. I would not say I'm dark like a tanned Italian. <laughs> That is not something I would say. I'd say I'm tan. I'm I'm like a fucking tanned, like not Italian. <laughs> you know, <laughs> a little wider than that, but uh, like literally wider. You know what I'm saying? So basically, the trade advisor from Civilization Civilization Two. Wait a second. I got it. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm not familiar. Uh, trade advisor Civ Two. Let's see. This, wait. <laughs> wait a second. Uh, are you saying I look like, let me let me make sure I don't uh, show anything I don't wanna show. Are you, are you saying I look like this guy? <laughs> you, you remember that I have a beard, right? <laughs> Yes, exactly. No, nah, it's not that accurate. It's not that accurate. <laughs> Good guess. Good guess, but I do in fact have a beard. I look more like this guy. 
Wow, these are real blurry. Uh, <laughs> looks more like Dalton. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I can see it. Well. Ah, shit. I lost my... Eh. Yeah, no, you're you're a little off, but uh, let's go to Moon World, because yeah, that's today, right? Would I just miss this if I didn't go to Moon World? I've arrived at Moon World. The place should be empty around this time, so I should be able to relax here for a while. Oh, what, I'm relaxing before showing up? Well, that's stupid. Huh? Oddly, nobody welcomes me upon my entrance. At first, I assume they're busy, but there are no customers inside. Instead, Kyoko and Hatsune are huddled together in the corner of the at the corner of the counter. Well, how about this then? That'll be within budget. Uh, hello? You have a customer, ladies? Oh, Tokisaka-kun. Kyoko finally acknowledges my presence. <laughs> That's all I ever wanted. Could I get a cop? Hey, why do you have ice cream at this time of the year? At this time of the year? In this climate? At this altitude? There's a plate piled with ice cream on the counter. Hatsune-chan said our place needs a new menu. Ice cream? At a cafe slash bar? What do you... What do you... Huh? Could I get a koof? <laughs> hey, could I get a koof? Hey, could I get a koof, please? Somebody at my work uh, might have coronavirus. He's getting tested right now. And it's like, on one hand... Dude, I... No, there's no on one hand about it. I, I hope he somehow gives it to me because like I that's what I thought of when I saw could I get a coof because like it's like dude if I get coronavirus for one I'll survive for two I'll have a great story and for three I'll get fucking two weeks paid vacation that's how it works with this company Amazon will just pay you for two weeks to do nothing dude the corona Imagine the coronavirus marathon that would happen. Non-stop streaming. Two weeks of high-octane streaming. Ooh. Also, you won't have to worry about getting it anymore. As if I worry. Ah, I want to get it, dude. Well, that's because people complain that we only serve biscuits. I think it'd be nice if we had more cakes and things like that. Food that doesn't keep for a long time is a pain. Then some general snacky foods would be fine, right? Hmm, well, why don't you try making some, Hatsune-chan? But you could lose your sense of taste. Oh wait, you don't eat. Also, that sounds like bullshit, honestly. Me? Sure. Hatsune nods, full of confidence. You would still feel sick. Probably not. I've probably, like, you realize that my job like, involves so much contact with other people, at least it used to. Like, almost everyone who works at my company has gotten coronavirus, I'm sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure I've already had it. I'm probably immune already, so I won't be getting it. And while you're at it, although they do tell you that, which would be interesting to know. Could I get some kohi? How long am I supposed to wait here? Mori Yuts Yurutsuki. Yurutsuki we will be getting here in a little while, but I've still got some time left before that. Suppose I should go somewhere else in the area. Sorry, Kyoko, I'll be back later. I bid farewell to the two ladies, still engrossed in their discussion behind the counter and go outside. I feel like this is the game giving me a second chance. Like, oh yeah, that was smart of you to go to Moon World, but we met later in the day. Sorry, guy. Uh, roll again. Um... I'll go to the art museum. I need this Catholic influence in my life. I returned to Ueno. I was just here earlier, but I want to ask a few more questions. She's standing in plain sight when I entered the art museum. That's probably because she's a guide. It wouldn't make sense. It did say in the area. Yeah, I did just take a train all the way across town. Maybe I should... Whatever. <laughs> hey, thanks for earlier. Who are you? Tokisaka Reiji. We just met. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. Stella gives an exaggerated nod as if she only just remembered. I've got a few things I want to ask. Do you mind? Mm. No. Since she's willing, I may as well ask her a few questions. First off, can you tell me a bit about Mamiya Shinzo? Mamiya Shinzo, born January 11th, 1890 in Tokyo, started painting towards the end of the Taisho era, produced numerous works of art. He's become extensively well-known. So he's old as shit, right? He's like fucking 50-something. 
at this time period, right? Stella begins reciting with practiced ease. After the war, he's consistently produced works connected with the theme of shells. Eccentric and reclusive, it seems Mamiya doesn't hold himself in high regard. Oh, he has low opinion of himself. Okay. Ah, thanks. Sure. It's almost as though the spring in a wind-up toy has run out. If I have, that's a good that's a good metaphor. I kind of like that. <laughs> if I have anything else to ask, I'll come back again. Okay, I understand. Cell nods in response to my polite wave as I head back outside. Am I now too far away? Well, it's about time. Mori Yurutsuki should be coming to Moon World soon. Okay, we're fine. All right, we're good. We're fine. Welcome, Tokizaka-san. Hatsune-kun, has anyone come here looking for me? Ah, yes. There's a man sitting in the back. She points at Yurutsuki, seated and drinking an iced kohi. He actually came. <clears throat> Given his character, I half expected him to stand me up. Oh, hi there. Yurutsuki stands and... Oh, excuse me, bows. I didn't think you'd really show up. Eh? Why's that? His curiosity, oddly enough, is written across his face. Why? Didn't you know that you're a suspect? Eh? <laughs> a suspect of what? <laughs> He's completely oblivious. Ah, there's the baby. You hear the baby in the background. I'm talking about the possibility that you kidnapped her. Huh? What? Why me? Huh? <laughs> Eh? Out of Nishizono's cir Yui's circle of acquaintances, you're the most suspicious. The police also have you marked. Uzumi's the one who'd given me a date on him, data on him, so of course they're treating him as a person of special interest. Uh, uh, but I... I didn't do anything, you know? It's a very unsettling baby. Is it? <laughs> if that's your story, then would you show it by telling me everything that you know? Uh, of course. Flustered, Yurutsuki pulls out several photographs from his bag. I took these shots last year. Bit of an upskirt there, wouldn't you say? That's quite a bit of fucking leg you got there. In the center of each is a smiling Nishizona Yui. This might be the first time I've seen her with an expression on her face. Oh, <laughs> because she's dead? What a weird thing to say. <laughs> she doesn't have expressions anymore. Some show her reading a book. I try to look for any identifiable characteristics on her body. I can't find anything of note. However... Ah, The egg! I was looking at the book! <laughs> the It's a Black Egg! Do you know what that thing is attached to her bag there? Oh, oh that's a decoration. A black egg. Uh, a black egg? I'm pretty sure she said she got it from a friend. All her friends went around with ones just like it, or something. Her friends, huh? She had friends. Sato Oyumu didn't know anything about the black egg. How do I go about rounding up all the friends beside her? Did I just get a new notebook thing? Is that what that did? It looked like an ordinary egg, died, and with the insides removed. Say, do you know who's in her circle? Wait, how would they do that? How would you do that? How would you get the inside out and have it of a whole egg? What do you, what? Black egg abortion cult. Friends or co-workers. This is the sick- Oh, that's smart, dude. Oh, I might write that down, dude. Possibility. Egg equals prostitution marker? Interesting. Interesting theory. I like it. That baby is fucking going. Say, do you know who's in her circle of friends? No way, man. We weren't that intimate. He has, like, afro hair. See that? If Koizumi K and Takigawa Yumi were among them, the black eggs they were carrying around might have been the same ones discovered inside their bodies. Ah. Uh, well, where is she right now? I can't tell you that yet. I have to get some more information regarding the rumor of the black egg, even if I have to be a little aggressive. Someone connected to that group of people is the killer. <laughs> Just the baby in the background. Just as I'm heading home from Moon World, I see the f a familiar face on the street. It's Kuchiki Fumiya. Kuchiki Fumiya? Kuchiki? The... Wait, wait, wait let me try and remember. The uncle? Toko's uncle? He's walking over here. I guess he's seen me too. Ah, got it! The fucking bishonen. <laughs> Good evening, Tokisaka-sensei. Ah, hello. Uh, going somewhere to do some drinking? Nah, just going for a walk. Fumiya lights lightheartedly. 
I'm not a drinker. Oh? Except cum, am I right, my dude? Well, it's not that surprising. He doesn't strike me as the type to really enjoy drinking. That's good, though, to be clear. Not the cum thing, but the, but not drinking is good. That's a good thing. Looks like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with drinking, but, like, I mean, it's better not to drink than to be, like, an alcoholic, clearly. Clearly. Looks like you had to take care of Toko-chan today, as well. Oh, no, I was just a chaperone. Come to think of it, she was really quiet today. I suppose it's because she saw that painting. Really? She seemed pretty cheerful this morning, though. If you don't mind me asking, Kuchiki-san, do you have any relatives who resemble Toko? Do you have any relatives who resemble your relative? <laughs> It's like, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What do you mean by that? Well, there's a portrait at the art museum we went to today that looks exactly like her. I'm a bit curious if it was drawn just before the end... Because it was drawn just before the end of the war. The mood of the painting can change completely depending on how you look at it. Isn't it possible that after you saw Toko-chan it influenced how you viewed the painting? It's really weird that he jumps right away to trying to explain it away. Right? Put yourself in his shoes. Somebody asks you... Hey, I just saw this painting. It looks a lot like your niece. But that's weird because your niece wasn't alive when it was painted. Do you know Do you know anybody who looks like her? Like, your immediate response would be like, Ah, hmm, let me think. Like, uh, I guess her mom looks kind of similar. Uh, we've got, like, a grandma who looks similar when they were old. But no, he's like, Ah, you're probably just imagining things, Doc. Doc? <laughs> he's the Doc. Detective? I guess that sounds plausible. It's just, it seems suspicious. Well, it is a doctor's advice. Thanks, Doc. Or it could be Chizuru. I don't ever remember her modeling for a painting, but... Nah, don't worry about it. I was curious, that's all. Well, now he brought up the model, so... Fair enough. Well, I'll be off. That baby is not getting consoled at all. Do you hear, do you hear this? This baby is just continuing to... To scream. Sure, see, it's not my baby. And they're home, so... <laughs> I've returned home after walking from Kichijoji. So I'd better lay off, lay out my plans for tomorrow. Uh, uh, why is she in my house? Uh, welcome home, Sensei. Yeah, glad to be back. <laughs> I let out a sigh as I enter my room. Pulling a cigarette out from its case, I light up and take a drag. Phew! As the smoke diffuses throughout the room, I realize how hungry I am. I wonder what's for dinner tonight. But first, there's this other thing that's been bothering me. She said dinner's gonna be roast salmon and simmered, simmered taro. What the hell are you doing here? Not so quick on the uptake, Sensei. Toji goes lounging around in the living room, acting as though she owns the place. Suzuriko, you're eating here too, right? Yukari came out of the kitchen. Of course, because it's gonna be some of Yukarin's home cooking. What in the world is going on here? What in the world? After dinner, I take a bath and return to my room. Looks like Tojiko's staying the night. Even though they have a cl have class in the morning, I've got to continue my invest- I think I just heard Dalton outside the door. <laughs> I've got to continue my investigation of the school tomorrow. First off, how am I going to get information about the rumor? Ah. Mm. Okay, important choice, I'm thinking. Important choice. Unless it's an illusion of choice. Some of these choices are illusions. How am I going to get information about the rumor? Am I going to get it by force? I don't know what that means. We're like, pull a gun on these school kids? Like, yeah, you better fucking tell me if you want to live, kid. I like that option, but I don't think it'll be particularly effective. Especially since guns aren't allowed in Japan, but you know, you know how it is. You know how it is. You feel me, you know how it is. Ask the Vice Principal Saeki to do it. A little bit of meta thinking here. I like to think in meta terms. The fact that this option is an option at all makes me think that Saeki did the killings. Now, why? Why do I say this? Why do I... What, what, what Michael? What is your line of thinking here? My line of thinking is this. This seems like the kind of choice that is a fairly natural choice, but I'll go back later and be like, ah, oh, fuck, I shouldn't have had Saeki do it because he's the murderer. This seems like a trap, which only makes sense if... Do you see what I'm saying? I, it's hard to explain because it's nonsense. Or I could ask Tojigo to do it, which doesn't make a lot of sense either. Uh, there's a couple of downsides to that one. Actually, the dog's barking now. That's cool, too. Um, here's my thinking, all right? 
I'm thinking if I ask Saeki to do it, that's a trap. He's the killer. I'm thinking if I ask Tojiko to do it, that's a trap. The killer's now going to kill Tojiko. Even though get it by force seems like the worst option, I think it's actually secretly the best option. You're not supposed to pick it until you do these other ones first and then realize like, oh fuck, these are both traps. I'm doing it right away, baby. Should I just grab some students who look like they're involved and force the information out of them? Nisa, if you do that, you'll never learn what you want to know. Yukuri has entered the room without me noticing and now regards me with a shocked expression. Guess I have no choice. I'll ask Tojiko. Oh, well, there we are. Okay, well, I was... Huh? Ask me what? Why the heck do you guys pop up when I least expect it? Well, our room is next to yours. Oh, is it right? Oh, oh. De? <laughs> De? So, what, what is it you want to ask me to do, huh? For some reason, when she says it like that, I don't really feel like asking her anymore. Well, I guess I can't get out of this one. Tojiko, I've got something I want you to investigate for me at the academy tomorrow. Illusion of choice. But how much of an illusion? Let me take a sip and think. <sighs> Top means powerhouse woman times three. Oh, forcing is powerhouse woman times three? Got it. I forgot that I was going to name the stream powerhouse woman times three. Powerhouse female times. So, um, next time we stream this game, I need to underline that, put a box around it, stream name, underline that. There we go. Now I'll remember it because that's a good title, dude, even though I like this title. Sure, but only if you say pretty please, Suzuriko-sama. Then would you do it for me, Yukari? Eh. Sure, I don't mind. Uh, don't ignore me. <laughs> You're just going to weasel your way into this one, one way or the other, right? Aren't you? Well, of course. She's taking quite the defiant attitude. Fine, the request extends to you as well. Okay, leave it to me. Then, what would you like us to do? You told me about a black egg a while ago, right, Tojiko? I want you to gather information, some more information regarding that. Uh, I think that's gonna be tough. All I know are the basics. Pretty sure the girls are up to some shady business. There is actually an egg-based prostitution ring. The symbolism. I told you, it's, it's dense. Tojiko continues, her voice grave. My entire reason for getting close to Orihime-senpai was because I hoped it would come up as a topic of conversation. She was trying to become a prostitute? Yeah. So... Tsukishima's Orihime really is involved with those rumors. Probably, but I don't think she'll tell me anything. We should go after the underclassmen who know about the rumor, but... Just a tiny bit. If they're up to no good, then I think we should be able to find out... Oh, then we should be able to find out exactly what it is they've been doing. Don't take it too far, girls. I can't let you take... Oh, excuse me. Can't let you two expose yourself to danger. Ah, don't worry. Daijobu de, de o, dai o. There's nothing that dangerous inside the academy. Tojiko thumped her chest, overflowing with confidence. Return to monkey. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. March 15th, Moon Age 2.6. Still don't understand what that means. Oh, <laughs> good morning, sensei. When I enter the living room, I see Tojiko reading the newspaper and looking more like the master of the house than a guest. Any interesting articles? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Sounds like yesterday was a peaceful day without any murders or robberies. Have the Americans left already? Both of you, hurry up and eat breakfast so we can get going to the academy. I don't think... I'm just gonna take a guess. This, this school doesn't allow students and teachers to talk if it's a male teacher. Like, they frown on them communicating. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that they probably wouldn't enjoy a teacher, I mean, a student, spending the night at a teacher's house. I don't know. It's Japan. I don't know. But, uh, probably, right? Probably, yeah, bad. In the end, we all go to school together. That's a mistake. Don't you want a car or something, Sensei? There's no way Nissan could with his income. <laughs> Do you know how much a Suzu Light K-Car costs? 400,000 yen. That's $4,000. Where am I supposed to get that kind of money? Well, if you had a car, getting to school would be easy, you know? Buy one yourself. You make money writing novels, don't you? But I don't have a driver's license. Oh, I know. I'll just hire you as a chauffeur, Sensei. 
I don't have a license either. <laughs> Japan. When I'm not in class, I spend my time in the prep room thinking things over. The most recent murder, there's been a lot of information collected already, but there must be something missing. Nothing is falling into place, except for a growing number of spent cigarettes falling into their place in the ashtray. Sensei, you there? I feel like we're getting we're getting close to the point where something's gonna fucking snap and all of my choices backfire in my face. Sensei, you there? The door opens and Tojiko enters. Did you find something out? Mm, yeah. This sounds like it could be serious. Saying that, she closes the door behind her. Door still open, door still open, door still open, door still open. I heard from a first year student that you can't get a black egg unless you become part of the schisma. Oh. Of course, the Protestants are all schismatics. Protestants? I said Protestants. <laughs> Freudian slip, I meant prostitutes. <laughs> the prostitutes are all schismatics. Or, no, wait, they could be, that could also mean the, uh, no, yeah, yeah, they're in schism, yeah. Same thing, really, yeah. Schisma? The split in the Christian church? I don't know what it really means. You're in a Catholic school? It sounds like this schisma includes students at other schools, but I get the feeling that they're not around anymore. The Orthodox influence. Corrupting our Catholic Japanese youth. Most likely, our murder victims. Did you learn any details about what this schisma did? Yeah, rounding up delinquents, they called it. Oh. Delinquents? For prostitution? Most likely. Oh, what? Nishizono-san and Imamura-san were probably forced into it. Okay, wow. I suspected this was the case, but hearing it confirmed is... On top of that, it said that they used drugs. Who's the ring? <laughs> I know what they mean, but it's like... <laughs> like, it sounds... I know that they're implying that, like, they probably also used drugs to, like, brainwash these girls into prostitution or get them addicted. That's what pimps do in the U.S. It makes sense. But, like, what it sounds like is, like, they forced these women into a prostitution ring. Also, they smoked pot! <laughs> Who's the ringleader? Now that, I couldn't get them to tell me. Tojigo's tone suddenly changes. She's sharp enough to have figured it out. All signs point to one girl, Orihime. Yep. Well then, next up is the Black Madonna. Killed by the Black Madonna, what did Tojiko dig up about that rumor? Nothing about that in particular. It goes hand in hand with the Black Egg rumor, really. Hmm, but you know where it started? I've been investigating Dante's Divine Comedy, but it never mentions a black egg. I'm sure there's more to it, but the girl I asked didn't seem to know. I guess there's no way to know unless you're one of the schisma. Considering this is Japan, the drugs are probably a bigger crime than prostitution. That is actually, yeah, you're 100% right, yeah. <laughs> I see, thanks, Tojiko. How many times do I... Uh, never mind, see you. Oddly, Tojiko leaves without her usual protestations. She's getting used to it. She likes it. It's e- I hope she doesn't like it. I drop by- It's evening, I drop by the faculty room before le I leave to say goodbye. Oh, to say goodbye, I got it. Oh, Tokisaka-sensei, just the person I wanted to see. What happened? Or wait, what's happening? No, what's happened? Vice Principal Saeki speaks restlessly as if in a hurry. The truth is, third year student Tsukishime-san has been absent today. Tsukishime- Tsukushima. 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 Who? Tsukushima Orihime. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's been another murder. The t I didn't stop it in time. The truth is, third year student Tsukushima-san has been absent today. However, she hasn't contacted us, and when I called her home earlier, don't tell me. She's not at home. Saki nods gravely. It seems that she left the house this morning as per her normal routine, but there's been no trace of her afterwards. Did you contact the police? What? No. <laughs> Why would I do that? Well, not yet. What are you fucking... Okay. Then do so immediately. There's no time to worry about appearances. Shit. Suppressing the urge to rush out at once, I fire off further instructions for Saki. Please tell Sergeant Uzumi of the MPD Investigative Division that I'm requesting an emergency cordon to be set up around the academy. 
turning, I turn to Yo, these tunes! Turning, I call out to Kusaka as he enters the faculty room. You too, Kusaka-sensei. We need to find Tsukushima-san. Tsukushima what happened to Tsukushima-san? She may have been dragged into the string of murders. Yo, this boss! Okay, right away. I'm solving mysteries! Let me take a sip. Oh! Wow. Wow. Wow! Kusaka leaves in a hurry. Vice Principal, you wait here for people to contact you. Do you have any pictures of Tsukushima-san? Right over there. Emergency jazz. <laughs> Psyche, sometimes you just gotta fucking... That's what that... You know that famous picture of that guy playing saxophone with a fire extinguisher? That's what it is. A fire extinguisher is an emergency tool. Sometimes you need to break out the emergency tools for the emergency jazz. Psyche points over at the desk, receiver in hand. There's a small picture of Orihime nestled between... Never mind. What appeared to be some sort of identification papers. And I'm leaving matters here to you. With that, I go outside. Ooh, the song starts over. <laughs> I rush outside and take stock of the area. If she was abducted on her way here, a lot of time has passed since then. We may need to expand the search zone beyond this area. Where do I begin? Oh, big choices. Big fucking choices. Ooh, this is big choice music. Where do I look? for the girl who's probably getting murdered right fucking now. Obviously, I just go drink instead. <laughs> what a good choice. <laughs> I don't know, dude, it's probably pointless. I'm just gonna go fucking drink. All right, do I look at the academy itself? Interesting, it seems like not the thing you'd wanna do, but honestly, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, like, like might be right under our noses. Inokashira Park, would the killer leave the corpse? I don't... Hmm... Hmm... I'm thinking about this, so... Inukashira Park was already the crime scene. Already the scene of one crime. I think it's very unlikely that the killer would take them to this park. And on top of that, I think it's very unlikely that they would leave the corpse there afterwards. You know, they've done a different location every time so far. As a dog returneth to his own vomit. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe, I... Um, Shinjuku Station, literally no reason to go there, so seems like the best choice. Honest, like, 100%. Um, but very crowded. Why would you, yeah. Um, the hospital doesn't make sense. I really don't think the BTB is the killer. And then, the detective agency of my friend. Now, I don't know what... That, that, this is, hasn't been an option lately, so I don't really know. Is that me asking him for advice? That might be the play. There might be something to that. What are we thinking? Does anyone have any bright ideas? You, you people in chat, you're smart men. You're smart. I know you're smart. Maybe women too. I don't know. I doubt it. Station might not be too bad. I mean, the station, there's no logical reason to go there. But is there a logical reason to go to any of them? I guess Inokashira Park. The only logical ones are Inokashira Park, like in-game logic. Inokashira Park and the detective agency for for uh, hints. I honestly think Moon World. Possible. And then Shinjuku Station. Yeah, she never made it to school, so she could have got picked up at the station. We could ask people. Ah, we just asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just asked if we had, if they had a picture of her. So we could, since it's so crowded in Shinjuku Station, we could ask a lot of people. And it's likely that she was there at some point today because she never made it to school. So she might, I, she probably takes the train to school, right? Maybe. I don't know where she lives. That'd be really useful to know right now, but I don't know that. So I think those are all, uh... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> Let's go to the Shinjuku Station. I think that's smart. I think that's smart. I like the thinking on this one. Oh, Reiji. Yo, Reiji. Oh, well, I ran into Uzumi, which is actually just really convenient. That's just... That, that actually kind of helps. So, uh, this is good so far. I'm in front of the Shinjuku Station, grasping for leaves in Orihime, when Uzumi appears out of nowhere. Uzumi, did you set up a cordon? Right after the academy contacted me, yeah. Got the entire ward locked down, even the entirety of San Santama. Eh, let me look at a map. Eh, Santama. San Santama. The fuck is Santama? I get 
the ward, the Musashino City ward, right? But what's... I don't know what Santama is. But we might be too late. Uzumi clenches his teeth on his cigarette. If she was abducted this morning and taken away in a car, they could be anywhere by now. <laughs> in a car, you can go anywhere. <laughs> we haven't been contacted by a ransom, so it's safe bet that this is our culprit from before. But if it's the same guy, he's gotta be within the suburbs. If we comb through all the shady areas... Look, we're short on manpower as it is, without a clear target. All the murders until now have been centered in Musashino and Mi Mitaka. The corpses were found in Tama Cemetery in Shakuji Park. Third was in... Wait, 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 wait. Musashino and Mitaka. Oh, fuck. Mino, Moon World actually makes sense. Or the clinic! Why was the clinic not an option? Why was the clinic not an option as a place to go? The clinic is centrally located. Also, so is my house to some extent, but, you know, don't worry about that. Maybe I needed to talk to him first to realize about the clinic? That's possible. Uh, the first one's in Inokashira Park. They're all wide open spaces, they don't get much foot traffic at night. But that's just where the corpses turn up. We have no idea- no, they have nothing to do with where the suspect's hiding out. That's right, but I think he's close by. Suganami, Gunma, Mitaka, Misushin, Ma, Musashino, Hoya, Tanashi, and Kogane. Eh... Eh... Nakano? Not Nakano. Okay, so everything over here. Not Fuchu. Not Suganami, yeah. No, Suganami also. So here, Hoya, Mitaka. Oh, I'm getting a cough. Work. Ah. I'll be right back. One sec. We gotta make this fucking incredibly uh, another intense decision. I'm assuming. Why? Why isn't there a game where you play an older brother trying to run interference to hook your sister up with the best guy in school? I. I don't. Know. There probably is. I, you're asking a question that, like, I can't answer accurately because there, prob there probably is. Uh, there pro it probably exists. Got it. I'll give the order. Okay, I'm counting on you. With that in mind, there's no real point in poking around Shinjuku. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, so I was retarded. I guess just the game telling me, like, you're so fucking stupid. It's clearly over here. Um... I guess I'm going to Moon World. It doesn't make any fucking sense, but... Wait, what it... No. No, it really doesn't make sense, but here I am. I've arrived at Kichijoji Station. There's a lot of people around this area, so there's a chance someone here has seen Orihime. Oh, so it's just that area, not necessarily Moon World itself. Okay, this makes sense then. I go from person to person, showing them her picture. No luck. There were plenty of people who recognized Orihime's photograph, of course, but not one of them had seen her for several days, much less today. Oh, hello, Tokisaka-san. Nice coat, very nice coat. Hey, Hasune-kun. On the job right now? Can I just- here, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is this- sorry. I just have one of those whims. You ever have those whims, dude? Uh, let me see. Uh... Um... Mm, will this work? Please. Please. Just- just give me a second. Just entertain yourselves for a second, please. I will- I will be just a second. I just need to, uh, do some very important work, uh, for the- for the stream. Um... Yep, that'll work. Yep, this'll work. Okay. Alright, 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 I didn't really need the leak in there. Yeah! It's perfect! Yes! <laughs> ah, Hatsune-chan. On the job right now? She's holding a paper bag. I imagine she's out shopping. Yeah, have you seen this girl today? Good timing, I'll see if she can help. Wow, she's so pretty. What happened to her? She's gone missing. Huh? You mean... Hatsune's breath catches in her throat. It doesn't look like you recognize her. Yeah, I'm sorry. No need to apologize. Thanks. Uh... Wait! Ano... <laughs> she raises her voice unexpectedly as I'm about to leave. Uh, please. You've got to find her. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> As I watch Hatsune leave. It comes back to me. 
In that incident five years ago, she lost the people who had been looking after her in the same way. I will find her. I swear it. Uh, I fucked up. I picked the wrong places. No! It's no use. Not a trace of her, no matter where I go. I've run across half the damn city and still haven't found a single lead to, on where Orihime's gone. I contradicted both the MPD and the Academy, but they didn't fare any better. Phew. No swearing on this Christian stream. Who swore? Who swore? <laughs> I sit on the bench and look up at the night sky. The stars are twinkling. If I'd just noticed the state she was in a little sooner. If only I'd protected her. Ah! Uh? Interesting. I'm writing down protect Orihime question mark. Perhaps next time I if if I if if we get a bad ending here, we might have to go back and be around Orihime. At the edge of my sight, a streak of white cuts a streak of white cuts across the sky. A shooting star, eh? Toko's behind me. I wonder when she got there. Here. Did you wish for anything, Tokisaka-san? If my wishes could be granted just by praying, I'd wish for all kinds of things. Not very romantic. <laughs> a realist, are you? Toko moves around in front of, to stand in front of me. As I get older, that's the only way I can look at things. So you're bitter. Something happened, huh? Yeah. I hope you can crack the case. Crack egg. Crack egg. Me too. I have to solve it. I want to cling to hope for a while longer, but... You always show up when I'm at my weakest. Really? So you're always weak, Tokisaka-san. <laughs> Toko peers into my eyes. Don't we always bump into each other at the academy? Is that when you're the most vulnerable? Nah, that's not what I meant. I say that to Toko, who's looking at me dejectedly. Ah, hell. The game isn't over yet! Mmm, mmm. I can't waste time here. Going home? Going back to work? Yeah, it looks like tonight's gonna be an all-nighter. I've gotta find some kind of clue. Anything, no matter how small. But first, let me walk you home, Toko. Uh, I'll be fine. I, she's the murderer, she's the murderer, she's the murderer. Oh boy, it's another characters know they're in a video game VN. Shh, spoilers, shh. I'm escorting you home, just in case. I want to avoid having her go back by herself, even though she's not a likely candidate to be the next victim. Why? She's not a prostitute? Okay, I understand. Uh, go ahead, then. Toko's fingers grasp my hand. That was unnecessary. They're surprisingly cold. Gently, I close my hand around hers. That's very unnecessary. Oh. Oh, okay. Um. At last. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Sure, yep, I'm pretty sure another murder happened. That's my bad, honestly, that's my bad. At last, at last I've arrived. She's the one behind all this. The root of this calamity, the accursed ringleader. Not just any death will do for her. Those who are burdened with such sins should experience eternal suffering and darkness. This person who sowed the seeds of dissent and slander, inviting chaos into the world. Interesting, slander? Slander? Slash chaos. Is it maybe... Maybe Orihime was bullying some chick and this chick is getting revenge? I'm trying... I'm wondering what... Hmm. I inject her with a drug, then crucify her on the wall. <laughs> Fuck. I bind her left hand, right hand, and right leg. I wrap a black cloth around her left leg. This area cannot be contaminated. Now, let me punish her as the Black Madonna. Black Madonna would be female, so I'm thinking that it's probably that fucking rapist nurse. Now, I'm a little biased because she's a rapist, so I assume that most rapists are also capable of killing people. That's just my personal bias. It could be wrong, but it makes me think of a female killer. Oh. 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 Uh, with a blade, I trace lines on her white skin. Crimson droplets well up, silently overflowing, and then, yeah, that's definitely Orihime. This job that requires a subtle amount of pressure, neither too deep nor too shallow. Why expend so much effort over the likes of this girl? 
I want to kill her so badly it's unbearable. For the sin she's committed, the girl deserves death. However, I cannot kill her. If she dies too easily, I won't be able to rest in peace. There will be no salvation. In his book... Whose book? In his book, people can be saved through suffering, but I believe no such thing. I cut up her arms, chest, abdomen, and right leg. Delicately, carefully, leaving no white skin behind. Oh, what the fuck? They're, he's skinning her? I page through the book. The demon swings its longsword without, worth, without mercy. Intestines spill out and dangle between their legs. Their organs are laid bare. Even their face... Faces are split in half. Faces split in half. I see myself reflected in her half-open eyes. This demon is clothed in black. Oh fuck, this is fucking... I press the blade against the corner of her mouth. Why the... Why the long face? <laughs> I press the blade against the corner of her mouth. The, the knife slides up to her ear as easily as cutting through tof... This is literally the Joker origin story. The flesh of her cheek droops, exposing her gums. I can see her neat rows of teeth from the side. Why so serious? Yeah, exactly. Yes, that's what I was that's what I was looking for. Thank you. Why so serious? <laughs> the flesh of her cheek droops. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the blood flowing from that wound dyes her white uniform red. Want to know how I got this smile? <laughs> it's not funny. It's almost like she's smiling. <laughs> almost as though she rejoices in her own torture. Irritation rising within me, I make a vertical incision beneath the eyes for the tears of blood. I pick up a syringe and ampule from the t table next to me. Compounding her singe, she sold these as well. Oh, she sold drugs. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's bad. I mustn't kill her. That compels me to take this roundabout method. I inject a few ampules worth of the into the joints of her left leg. Another injection near her impure genitalia and the it treatment is complete. I pick up a hatchet and take careful aim. Blood sprays forth. The left leg drops to the floor with a thump. She does not make any noise. Disappointing. I knew I should have used less anesthesia and done it while she still had a shred of consciousness. I pick up the leg swathed in black cloth and wipe at the oozing wound. This piece is precious. Soon I will have collected all I need. Gotta catch them all. After applying a simple method to stop the bleeding. Did you know Pokemon makes kids violent? It's true. Look, proof. I, after applying a simple method to stop the bleeding, I open up the front of her uniform. Um, please tell me this is censored. Please. Actually, nothing is there. Okay. I must break the black egg. I must draw out her entrails. I must cleanse this impure soul. I... Ugh. I don't like the noise, dude. I insert the scalpel below her navel. I'm already used to this. Quickly, I open her abdomen and cut out her uterus. The intestines coiling around my arm are warm. I rip the black egg from where it's attached to her bag. This is where it all went wrong. All because of this. I stick my hand into her abdomen, crushing the shell with the full force of my hatred. I suppose she's still alive. I can still fear, feel her heart beating. I can only pray that the anesthesia wears off before she dies. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. That's pretty bad. Uh, yeah. We lost another one. Um, my bad. Song six, Moon and Glut. You know, I did the best that I could do. I think we were pretty good detectives. The eggs of, the egg of Nienus. Part one. Katsuragi Shin. I think we read like part three or something earlier at the beginning of the game. So, okay. Ah, oh, Egg Girl returns. The music restarts. Pleasant music. The girl walked alone down the dark road. I feel like we're entering Act 2. This all seems like Act 2 shit. She could not see what lay before her. Even the path she was traveling upon was shrouded in darkness. In before Yeoman saves nobody, I will save somebody. Myself. Because I'm not a schoolgirl. That you know of. She was not even certain of what she walked upon, be it dirt sand, gravel, or densely overgrown weeds. The girl's footfalls were light. It was almost as though she walked among the clouds. Still, her stride never faltered. She was blessed with a reassuring companion, the black egg that she carried with utmost care. 
The egg was far larger than any ostriches. Indeed, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to call it a dinosaur egg. Take a drink. Ah. She kept it in a firm grip with both hands so that she wouldn't drop it. Every now and then she pressed an ear to its shell and nodded repeatedly in agreement, as though it were a perfectly natural thing to do. Each time she changed direction and continued walking. What in the world was inside that black egg? Could it really have been a baby dinosaur sleeping inside? What terrible writing. Holy shit, this, this Sheen, Sheen, whatever this fucking guy's name. This guy. Bad. Not at all. <laughs> the girl's mother dwelt within that egg. Or so the girl believed at any rate. Her mother inside the egg was telling her which way to go. Her mother always spoke to her gently. During painful times, sorrowful times, fun times, and happy times, the girl's mother watched over her from within the black shell. Yeoman confirmed schoolgirl that I don't know. <laughs> and thus, you don't, there are not many schoolgirls you don't know though, so. And thus, after walking through the darkness with her mother's guidance, she suddenly came to a place that was different than what she'd encountered before. It was dark still, but the girl sensed that there was a large gate in front of her. The portal was sh tightly shut. It seemed there was a sign post above the door with something written upon it. The girl asked her mother what the words read. Her mother replied gently, there's nothing to be afraid of. You're a strong, intelligent girl. That's not what... The girl was overjoyed to hear that from her mother. I hope I can find mother's body soon, she murmured while stroking the black egg, then pushed open the gate. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Completely exhausted after running back and forth through the night, I'm greeted by Yukari, her face drawn with wo worry. I'm home. <laughs> uh, there was a call from Uzumi-san earlier. It's an emergency, and he wants you to come to Musashiseki. Musashiseki. There's a big park there. Just that is enough to tell me what's happened. The worst possible outcome. Nisan, you need to get some rest. I can't. Forcing myself to act casual, I face my sister. Getting casual with my sister. Since it looks like I'm going to be busy today as well, I think I'll head over to the academy afterward. Could you tell the vice principal that for me? Sure. Don't look so worried. I'll get some proper rest when I have time. Please do. Zehi. Is Zehi... I keep getting Zehi and Becky confused. Zehi means should, right? I don't know, I'm just asking the one guy. Yes. He said yes, like, while I was still saying that, though, so I don't know if that was actually yes to that. But I think it was. With that muttered reply, Yukari heads off to- No, Becky is should. Fuck! I get those confused! Ah! So Zehi is, like, certainly, right? Zehi is, like, absolutely certainly, or something like that, right? And Becky is should. How are you- You're fucking, you know, Japanese, dude. With that muttered reply, Yukari heads off to school. I need to get going, too. Get out, weebid. <laughs> you fucking weebid. <laughs> From my house in Kinpukuji. Kinpukuji? That's where we live? I head west on Ome Street, cross Musashi Musashiseki, and walk along the borders of Gunma and Hoya. There lies Musashiseki Park. Let me take a look at the map. Um, Hoya? Gunma? Where the fuck is Gunma? I don't see no fucking Gunma. I ain't seen no fucking Goonma. It must be up here, I guess. Like, or is it over here? I suppose. Uh, there lies Musashi Musashiseki Park. Get weebed. <laughs> I only know Japanese nouns for some reason. Like what? I mean, like, do you just know, like, some common words that everybody, everybody kind of knows? Or do you mean you know, like, you've got the entire Japanese dictionary rec memorized, but only nouns? The killer knows these girls had abortions slash were drug dealers. This indicates either a close connection to the group or some detective knowledge considering the wording of the killer in terms of punishing for sin. I doubt it's the rapist nurse. Well, let me counterpoint before reading the rest of your theory. Um, the rapist nurse would have a close enough connection to know these things and would know about the abortions 100%. So it's still possible, I think. Um, and the thing about punishing sin, you're right insofar as the nurse is a rapist, a lesbian rapist. So I don't know if she's really going to be trying to, uh, pu punish, punish people for sinning. But on the other hand, maybe she's like upset at the girls for seducing her. Maybe she blames these 
cute school schoolgirls for being so cute that you have to rape them. It's possible. I don't know. I would bet. I bet it would be the head of the school or one of the students who know, who know who was in the black egg or possibly a former black egg victim. Yeah, that would make sense. But I think there's still other options. I think. Fuck these sinners for forcing me to sin. Yeah, see, exactly. Stuck off. So, you're here. Uzomi greets me sourly. We're sure it's her? Cock what you used to be. Go ahead. Go see for yourself. I will. I wonder why I'm so calm. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's just there. I guess my brain's gone numb from fatigue. I suppose that's why, even after seeing Tsukushima Orihime's gruesome... Tsukushima Orihime's gruesome corpse... I'm able to calmly analyze the situation. That's a nice lake over there. This early in the morning, there's steam rising from the pond, and it's shrouded in mist. Mist. At any other time, it'd be a breathtaking sight, but... The area bustles with policemen and forensic officers. I feel like Toku 2 could be it, but that seems too obvious in a way. I kind of agree, but it's almost like everyone seems obvious, you know? So, like, it's like, who could possibly be the one, then? Uh, I don't see anything particularly suspicious over here. Okay, I just want to look everywhere else first. Just, just point, classic point and click. Don't see anything else. Okay, the corpse then. Orihime is sitting alone in the park at the base of one of the trees. My thought processes are deadened and sluggish. All I can do is stand there, taking in the awful scene. His other personality killed her. I guess that's also a possibility. Not really, though. Are there any I actually not at all? Around 1 a.m., a salary man. Oh, it wasn't an old man this time. That's interesting. Okay. A salary man saw her while heading home. The surroundings were all dark at that time, so the le witness left, thinking it was a homeless person sleeping. I searched for her all night, and this is what happens. The police looked around this area around 3 a.m. She was already dead by the time she was discovered. Uzumi calmly summarizes the state of affairs. Let's investigate the body. I mutter in a subdued voice. Okay, all right. Check her Joker smile. I'm the Joker, baby. I'm sorry. This is horrible. Wait, I wonder if I could. I'm sorry. I need to. I need to check something. Um, I just need to. Just. Uh, just need to check something. Thanks. Should be really. It'll, it'll be really quick to know whether or not I can do this. Um, there it is. Yep. There. That. Yep. That works. Yep. Come on. Come on, work. Come on. You already know. You already know, but I have to do it. I had to do it to him. Let me... Am I... Can I... Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. I had to do it to him. Um, well, let's... Uh, 50? Uh, no, like 45? 45 degree angle? Maybe a 43 degree angle? Yep, yeah. and let's, uh, let's just... Yeah! <laughs> Wait, maybe a little, a little more, let me just get it a little more. Yeah, there it is, there it is, very nice. You wanna know how I got this smile? <laughs> how I got this, what was it? Fuck, I keep forgetting the Joker lines! Izumi grimaced. Her face had been sliced open from the corners of her mouth up to her ears. Her neat, straight teeth are exposed all the way back to the molars. It almost looks like she's laughing. <clears throat> I needed to lighten the mood, okay? Small scratches and cuts run across her face in every direction. They're done lightly as if to make her suffer bit by bit without causing death. Hope in Joker 2 we figure out how he got his smile. <laughs> one cut even resembles the tracks of a tear. Was this one's placement deliberate? Huh? What's this? Appears to be something inside of her mouth. Zumi, give me some gloves. Ooh. Sure. I pull out the slightly oversized white gloves and pull a finger into Orihime's oral cavity. Or insert a finger. A scrap of paper c pops out, dripping blood and saliva. Who knew Joker had nice tits? It does kind of look like he has tits now. Yeah, yeah, that's... Hmm. So What's that? Uh, that's the Joker, baby. Um, wait. <laughs> uh, I have to scroll up. Fuck, I really need to not scroll up with that. His face split open from chin to forelock, and all the others whom you've seen sown scandal and have seen sown scandal and schism while they lived. This is why they are they here are hacked asunder. 
Ah, the schisma! Once again, the divine comedy. The handwriting. So since she's the leader of the schisma, she gets the schismatic death. The handwriting looks like it matches the earlier sample. The writer could be Nishizona Yui. Send this around to Forensic for the time being. I hand the scrap of paper to the forensics officer standing next to me. I think I've seen all I can. Wait, that's it? What about her leg being missing? We didn't notice her leg being- All I can do now is wait for the autopsy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing more to be seen here. I don't know any other information I can get from this legless corpse. We're gonna cart her out of here. Or mono-legged. Okay. Orihime is loaded onto a simple stretcher and carried away. Now I have to... Hey, Uzumi, did you search her home? I know where it is. Turn up a little bit. I think they've already been contacted. Can you get a search warrant right now? I want to search her place. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be hard. The Tsukishima family rivals that of the Oyasaki family of the West. You won't be able to just waltz in there. Really? Doesn't matter. I can't just give up here. Will I have to force my way in somehow? Tell me where it is. Oi, Rage. Don't get me wrong, I'm just going there as an instructor from the academy. But that means if you find anything, it won't be accepted as evidence. I know. I doubt it'll turn up anything pointing directly to the killer anyway. But what I might find is something related to the schisma. Information she never gave me while she was alive. If only she had talked to me. I probably don't have time to take it. If only she had talked to me. You see? Dude, you see? We might have had the opportunity in the past to stop this. Probably don't have time to take a detour like this. But if there's any chance that it'll lead me closer to the killer, I have to take it. I don't want there to be any more victims. Alright. You didn't hear this from me, okay? Under no circumstances did I tell you that the Tsukushima residence is in Kamirenjaku, in Mitaka. I don't know what you're talking about. Whatever I do from now on, I do on my own. Sorry about that, man. Hurry up and get your ass out of here. <laughs> if only you fucked her. If I fucked her, she'd be alive right now. I turn my back to Uzumi and start running, but my soul would be dead, so is it worth it? No. It's more than five kilometers away, but it's a manageable distance. I don't have the time for a more comfortable pace. You just run five kilometers? Nice, dude. Sugashime estate is situated in a quiet spot in the forest. The head of the family, Orihime's grandfather, was surprisingly accommodating. After I told him I was a visiting instructor from the academy, he immediately led me to Orihime's room. I'm surprised we just glossed over that scene. That's actually kind of nice. That's actually, I'm kind of, yeah. Premarital sex is never worth it. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. It seems that her family's been rather perplexed by her recent transformation. Though she never showed it on the outside, her parents probably knew enough, knew her enough to grasp her change in character. I suppose the aging family head is lamenting this state of affairs. Well, I would like to point out that we just do not, t we have not told the grandfather that Orihime's fucking dead. I don't have any time to waste on sentimentality. Now that its owner has passed away, I have to search this room. Ooh, the paintings. There are three framed landscape paintings on the wall. I don't recognize the scenes. They're probably from another country. I suppose... I've seen all of Japan, so these are probably from another country. I suppose she has an interest in art as well. I'll try looking inside the lining of the frames, but I don't find anything. I doubt these are what I'm looking for. Okay. There are three folders lined up here. I take one off the shelf and look inside. It's full of clippings from newspapers and magazines. Each one's been carefully mounted and glued in place. None of their context, contents pique my curiosity. Okay, um... I can't read this fucking obvious note here. The picture frame of the desk contains a scenic photograph. It suits the room's tranquil atmosphere perfectly. Compared to Yukari, who's about the same age, she seems more mature. This room is appropriate for Orihime. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself, because once I go into, back into the past, I'm gonna fuck her. It's a bamboo box. I open the lid and take a peek inside. I find a neat arrangement of hair clips and combs. Nothing looks especially noteworthy. There's some thick books lined up here. They seem to be Japanese, German, and Italian Japanese dictionaries. Why those languages, huh? Why those languages? I wonder what is connected between the Japanese, the Germans, and the Italians. Hmm. <laughs> She's a Nazi. <laughs> that is uh, that is not the twist I expected this game to take. The leader of my drug-dealing prostitution cult is a Nazi. <laughs> I guess she has an interest in foreign languages. 
I flipped through them, but nothing in particular stands out on the pages she's tagged. Really? You didn't notice that she p tagged the pages for final and solution? <laughs> I don't know, that seems suspicious to me, but maybe I'm naive. The top drawer contains writing instruments and other small articles, all neatly arranged. I rummage around for a bit, but don't find anything out of the ordinary. She serves the Emperor to this day. <laughs> she probably supported the Axis, considering the time period. Well, she was like a small child at that point, but... Okay, nothing there. More books? Look at the books on the shelf. The selection includes plays, books on philosophy... Nietzsche, maybe? Psychology, love stories... Mysteries and even foreign literature. Looks like she had an eclectic taste in reading. Was Dante there? Or how about Mein Kampf? In the original. I open the door and peek within. There's something bulky shut inside. A music box and a jewelry box as well. I search every nook and, nook and cranny, but neither contains anything out of the ordinary. Uh, none of the books strike me as odd. I don't see anything of note here. Nothing suspicious here. I doubt that's what I'm looking for. Nothing noteworthy. Don't see anything strange. Ah, uh, fuck. What's left? Did I check the other drawers? Oh! I need to check the other drawers. Oh, okay. There's a photo album stored in the bottommost drawer. It appears to be a collection of pictures, starting from when Orihime was a child. As I flip through it, I realize she's got a composed expression every single photograph. I don't see any pictures of her smiling. She was Tokyo Rose. <laughs> hmm. I guess this is how she was brought up. Everywhere I search, I find signs of her suffering. Notebooks are arranged in the second drawer. I flip through the contents, but they all appear to be lecture notes. Nothing seems particularly out of place. Well then, what the fuck? Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Wah. Other parts of the books, maybe? Another dead end. Ah! Got it. <laughs> you just have to try again. Wait, the bottom can be raised? I left the floor of the cabinet. Is something stuck in there? I empty the cabinet of its contents and lift the, lift the false bottom. A book. There's a book with a beautiful cover inside. Okay, it's either that foreign uh, writer that's been mentioned before, or it's Dante's Inferno. Excitement rises from within me as I open it, but it appears to be just an ordinary novel. It's titled The Egg of Neonis. It's like one of those fantasy novels that have started surfacing recently. The writing style seems almost childish. Why go through so much effort to put a cover on this book? I flip through the pages at random. Ah. Sore ni. Ah. What the hell? A black egg. The Black Madonna. Is this the origin of that rumor? <laughs> I, like, I like any story that starts with ah. Oh, well, actually, this starts over here, I guess. So iwa iware te da ke de I I can't read it very well. I take off the cover and look at the front of the book. The author is Katsuragi Shin. <laughs> I knew it, dude. Fucking could have told you that. I didn't remember his name, but I could have told you that. It seems he's newly published. However, I've seen this cover somewhere. I take a look inside my notebook. The picture of Yui, I think her name was. I noticed that fucking book earlier. Yeah, dude, easy fucking peasy. Easy, easy, easy. Where are we? Yeah, right there, baby. Yui, I even remembered her name. That's right. It was on the photograph of Nishizona Yui that I got from Mori Yorotsuki. It's hidden by her shadow, so you can't see the entire thing, but there's no mistaking that peculiar black and white design. Well, now. <laughs> Katsuragi Shin, eh? Perhaps I need to go ask him a few questions. Leads! We're getting leads. Yes. Nazis, dude. Nazis. After leaving the Tsukushima residence, I return to Kichijoji and buy the same book from the bookstore in the front of the station. There's no way I could have carried that copy out of her room. No, oh, you probably could have. Ah, and now we're back to... Now we're back to calm. Oh, you're early today, Tokisaka-kun. Sorry, Kyoko. Could you lend me your phone? Make a request by way of a greeting. Sure, you look pretty busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. Don't talk to me. <sighs> Ooh. I give her a vague reply while dialing. Before long, Uzumi picks up on the other end. Did it go okay? Somewhat. I've got something that I want you to look into. Search the other victim's house. 
how, victims' homes and check whether or not they have a paperback called The Egg of Neonis. Hey, Yeoman. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Useless and sad weeb. Are you back for your attention? The Egg of Neonis. It's a novel by Katsuru Katsuragi Shin. While you're at it, I'd also appreciate it if you looked into the author. Investigating the author should be fine, but we might not be able to get search warrants for the victims' homes. It's the same story I give you about the Tsukushima residents. I suppose there's no re need to search their homes, just ask their families. That won't be a problem, will it? Don't get your hopes up. Even through the receiver, Uzomi's voice is grim. Why is a politician streaming on Twitch with 230,000 views? What a time to be alive. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Uh, the, wait, who, what politician? I Do I even care? Politics is boring, dude. I care about fucking theology. I'll be at Moon World for a while longer. And games! Fucking gaming beats politics always. I'll be at Moon World for a while longer, so if you find Katsuragi's location, give me a call. Leaving him with that, I hang up. Now to try reading this book while I wait for his call. Tokisaka-san, right this way, please. Hatsune shows me the innermost counter seat. There's already coffee set out there. Yeoman just attention raped this man, didn't even get consent. Yeah, whatever, dude. You think I need that? You look tired. The rules don't apply to everyone. You look tired, so I prepared some sweets for you. Thanks, Hatsune-kun. I'm, I'm legally Native American, so I get special privileges in this country. I'm the one that made the coffee, though. Fuck, if I had lived in Japan, I wouldn't have free in health insurance. Hmm. Unless I can find maybe some Ainu ancestry. <laughs> well, I would never live in Japan for a long time anyway. You know what I mean? It'd be fucking hell. I just want to go there for like a year. I just won't get injured during that year. I'm the one that made the coffee, though. Kyoko pouts behind the counter. I know. Thanks for letting me borrow the phone. <laughs> nah, it's hardly a problem. Kyoko waves the d a dismissive hand and smiles. Now then, I drink my coffee and steadily flip through the book. Please give me that dun 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 dun, dun, dun that that song. You know. Yes. <laughs> However, the more I read, the more uncanny it resembles the murder. The female protagonist walks around hell, giving sinners black eggs. After 13 days, the sinners who haven't broken the egg are saved, and those that ha are those that have are killed by Black Madonna. Wait, but they're in hell. How do they get killed again? Just like in the rumor. And what's more, a sinner that was tormented by walking around hell. Isn't that just like the Divine Comedy? They go to double hell! <laughs> hell too! The punishment given to the sinners are roughly the same, and in addition, the victim this time was killed in a similar manner to what's in the book. In order to get a black egg, you have to offer up a body part. The girl collected those to construct her mother. The girl thinks her mother's head is inside the large black egg she's carrying, so she breaks it, and everything is for naught. There's nothing left over. It's a never-ending story. This can't possibly be a coincidence. That phone sounds fucking haunted. The phone rings. Ah! Uh, I stand and snatch up the phone before Hatsune can answer. Uzumi! Why did you have to pick up? Uzumi grumbles into the phone, displeasure clear in his voice. What do you expect? I was waiting for your call. You get anything? Yeah, it seems Katsuragi Shin has an office in the building near Nakano Station. He normally works over there, so if you hoof it, you should be able to make it in time. It's not like I'm gonna arrest him or anything. Thanks for your help, man. Look, I have no idea what's going on anymore. Just get me a damn suspect! You got it. He wanted to talk to the little girl. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I write down the address Uzumi gives me, then hang up the receiver. Now let's get going. Murder pog. <laughs> uh, we use poogs here, thanks. Uh, let me demonstrate. Uh, that's a... Yeah, see, that's a fucking... We use poogs here. I know, it's a, it's like a dialectic thing, but... From Kichijoji, I take the Chuo line to Nakano. After exiting from the north entrance and walking for a while, I arrive at my destination. So this is the place. I find a room bearing the nameplate, Katsuragi Shin, office. He's an office. There are sounds of movement within. I'll turn this down a little bit. Who might this be? A man's voice calls from within the room. I'm pretty sure his sister had an abortion. The main character? No! She's, no, 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 I don't know, dude. No, dude, no! Excuse me, is this Katsuragi Shin's personal office? My name's Tokisaka. I'm a private detective. I'd like to have a few words with you. Uh, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment. Can you wait for another opportunity? P please, wait! 
Hearing his flat refusal, I hurriedly speak up. There's a chance that your book is connected to some crimes, Katsuragi-san. I'm referring to the work, The Egg of Ninus. My book connected to crimes? Please, just a moment. Yes, of course. Looks like he'll speak with me after all. I suppose any author would take interest if the contents of his books were being used for the basis of murders. The door opens and a young man comes out. Now I'm imagining like fucking Harry Potter. <laughs> someone- J.K. Rowling, someone cast a spell on me! Yeah, so? I think they read Harry Potter! Thanks for waiting. I'm sorry, but the inside is rather messy. So could we talk out here? Nice getup. Nice fucking whatever- that- the handkerchief here. What do you we call these? A coif? A, uh, I don't know what you call it. Ascot? <laughs> I know it's not pronounced like that. Yes, if you'll- and also that's not what that is. It's a fucking crevet. Is it a crevet? I don't know. Oh. If you'll allow- very girly man- well, not super girly. I've seen worse. If you'll allow me to ask you some- but my first impression was definitely not masculine, you know what I'm saying? Let me ask some questions, then here is just fine. There's not much foot traffic around here, so there shouldn't be any problems talking about it out loud. I'm sorry about before. I'm Katsuragi Shin. Now, he looks a little more masculine when he's smiling. Happiness is a male emotion. Let's start over. I'm Tokusaki Reiji, a detective. Right now I'm investigating a case in the request of MPD. Well, I suppose I've got to bluff a little bit. Uh, I, I'm dropping all of the frames. Is anyone getting any of this? Uh, hello? Hello? Are we back? It said kilobytes per second zero for a second, so, but I think now it's fine. Just a weird little hiccup. Uh, probably not noticeable because this game is basically already a slideshow. At the very least, Uzumi was the one who gave me the job. Anime guy making anime watchers gay. Yeah, yeah so, you know, I'll, I'll prove that soon. He looks like a guy who'd write a book about an insane killer rebuilding their mother. Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> From the police. So that actually happens, huh? Katsuragi nods, looking looking like he buys it. Well, the recent series of murdered students, I'm sure you've probably read about them in the newspaper. I can only suspect that this string of crimes has used your book as a reference. You're talking about the egg of Ninus? We did tell you that, yes. That's right. You know its content better than anyone, right? That's... But that story was never meant to have murder as its theme. I know. It was the punishment of sinners walking around hell. You gave it the same motif as Dante's Divine Comedy, right? That's correct. I want to make a more accessible version of his work, but if that's the case, then don't the murders use the Divine Comedy as their source? He literally just, just fucking made Dante for babies. <laughs> Dante for dummies. <laughs> Katsuragi Shin, famed author of uh, The Cliff Notes for Divine Comedy. <laughs> that's what I believed at first. However, that was wrong. The key similarity is not to the Divine Comedy, but to your egg of Ninus. 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 The egg. It doesn't take Katsuragi long to catch my meaning. Even if you've fallen into hell, there's still a faint glimmer of hope left. That's what the black egg is supposed to represent. But... The same as Yunsuke Kudagawa's The Spider Thread, right? Yo, I think I own that story now, dude. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna read that soon. It's not the same. His masterpiece shows how ugly human selfishness can be. My work simply can't reach his level. Hence, the black egg. The conversation is veering dangerously off course, so I steer it back to the topic. We, the victims probably read the egg of Neonis. That's still under investigation, of course, but there's no disputing that some of them have read it. Well, they owned it. As in, no. I remember in a, uh, I remember there was this episode of, it was like fucking House or some shit. It was a show I never watched. Maybe like Monk or like some, some one of those fucking crime shows that's on all the time. And I think my grandma was watching it and I was just there. And, or like I was walking by, uh, and it said on, like the, someone in this show said like, uh, like, wait a second. This couldn't, this book couldn't have belonged to the victim because look, the spine isn't cracked. This book has never been read. And I'm sitting here with like an entire bookshelf. I used to never crack this. Like I would always treat books like a fucking artifact and never like never dog ear pages, never write in them, never crack the spine. And then it's, and then like this guy on TV, like clearly this book's never been read. I'm like, what the, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you, what? Just cause I'm not fucking breaking the book in half and pouring coffee and shit on it doesn't mean I haven't read it. Now, of course, when I start a book, I immediately bend it in half, 
and I write in the entire book because I am showing my dominance over this piece of literature. It is mine, and my thoughts will be reflected on its pages around the thoughts of the author. It's a dialogue that I'm having with the, with the author. It's important. I don't know where I'm going with that. I just wanted to... Oh, it's not the killer was trying to imitate the text? I'm sure the killer's read it as well. However, the victims are all people who have read your book. Your book is cursed, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. This one, yeah. I guess it's not surprising. I'm told the novel's popular among schoolgirls. It has very few adult readers. That's that's kind of sad. You write this like serious, this serious book that's supposed to be similar to Dante's Divine Comedy, and it's only being read with schoolgirls. I'd feel kind of weird if I wrote a serious book and only schoolgirls read it. After saying that, Katsuragi puts his hand to his chin and looks downward, thinking about something. I think it was at the end of last year. Soon after the egg of Nianus went on sale, I met a female student who had read the book. At that time, I was still just starting out, so we talked about quite a few things. Wow, I'm dropping frames like fucking crazy. You might have to stop in a second here. I don't know what's going on. At least we've, at least we've got three hours in. I was going to stop soon anyway because my throat's fucking killing me. I was hoping to get through the scene first. Female student, do you remember her name? Mm, I signed the book she had, but I didn't write her name at that time. Okay, I'm literally... No frames are going through right now. Please let me finish the scene! Just who came to this place? It might be someone I know. Ah! Oh! Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, um, think, everybody. Think, think, think. So, um... So somebody... Who's read the book... You know, the only one we know for sure has read the book is Orihime. Right? Why would I pick everybody, anybody else? You're supposed to read books? <laughs> Theoretically. I think Orihime. That's the only one that makes sense. Could it possibly be this girl? No, that's not her. Katsuragi gives a quick shake of his head. Wrong. Let's try picking again. Well, who the fuck is the other? I think Yui is the obvious choice. But she had a quote from the Divine Comedy, not from this book. But I guess that makes some sense. Could it be this girl? Take Nushizona Yui's photograph out of my notebook and show it to him. Oh, yeah, that's her! Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> that white uniform left an impression on me. I, they all wear white uniforms, you fucking idiot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if his information is very useful. <laughs> We think that she's been killed in connection with these murders. Are you serious? What? What should I do about this? It looks like he's honestly surprised. I don't think he's putting on an act. I passed off some conjecture as fact and mixed in, mixed in a few leading questions, but... If my book is being used to commit crimes, and this is a grave situation. Please, allow me to help you in any way I can. Okay, I'll be counting on your cooperation when that time comes. And I'll take my leave. I've still got work to do. With the final bow, Katsuragi vanishes inside his office. So Nishizone Yui came in contact with this man. But is that somehow related to these cases? Okay, alright. Partially because we're dropping frames, but also my throat is killing me. I think we'll just uh, we'll end it there for today. Uh, this game is sick. I love this game. We are going to be continuing this game. 